just to try to get your body acclimated. So I can't even imagine these guys going, leaving from there, coming there, having one day and then now playing in a series. It's tough. It's tough. And especially for the younger guys. Yeah. The guys that aren't used to it, that aren't, you know, been in the fold and they're not used to the, the travel. And, not, and the, you know, the travel goes into the anxiety and all that things with these guys too. So we'll see how it plays out. But I think after game two, we'll have an idea of where these guys are to see if that home court advantage holds any weight for um, Golden State. What else we got? What else we got, dog? What else we got, dog? So the next thing we got, <laughs> Bobby Schmurter's at a hockey game, caught dancing. Let me see. You can pull, pull it up. Clue. The Bobby Schmurter video. Eight minutes. No, nah, we don't have it. The video, the video. On the, um, oh, it's on the dock, yeah. Man, who is you talking to, dog? Uh, you got to get off the phone, I had dog. to fix some even, things over here. We had some You had, had technical, some technical difficulties? Technical yeah, we had some technical difficulties. I had to call my tech dude. You got to call the engineer. I had, I had to call my dude, something. Lizzie. <laughs> Look at my get guy. I had to call Lizzie. Yeah. Get Lizzie off the damn phone <laughs> and, and get the damn thing fixed. Get Lizzie off the phone. <laughs> Hell, I told you, dog. You you wore them see-through shoes in here tonight. We're banning them shits. You can't wear them no more, dog. There it is. Oh, there it is, right there. Now, what game is this? The New York Rangers hockey game. Where's the Tampa Bay? Do like we that? know if he's a hockey fan? I yeah. didn't know that. That's no, why it's well, funny. He's from why New York, though. He he's from New York, though, and the New York Rangers was playing in the Stanley Cup Finals. So, and they was beating the Tampa Bay Lightning. So, like, he flexing on them, like hitting his dance in front of that fan feast. Oh, yeah. yeah. So it was a whole flex thing. Yeah. So did they win it? Did did um did New York Rangers win the, the Stanley Cup? Well, that was just game one. Oh, when was that? When was that? Was uh, it last? I think it was last night. Y'all watch hockey? I don't watch hockey. <laughs> I, would, I didn't know I was a kid. I the Dallas they Stars. They did win. For real? They won six to two. Six to oh, two. Well, that's good. That's, that's a lot. That's a lot of points in hockey. Yeah, for real. yeah, that's like forty-nine or fourteen in football or something like damn. that. Damn, that's a lot of damn points. That's there. a blowout. Yeah, that's a lot of horns. <laughs> yeah, that's a hell of a lot. A lot of horns. See, see, Ron, Ron be watching hockey. No, he I, playing. No, I used see? to play the hockey games because like they let you fight and stuff, and like the hockey game is fun. Like you can like smash people to the wall and stuff, and like it was, it was fun. So you like the hockey? On what? On what game system? And they, uh, I don't play games. PS. <laughs> Um, back in the day, PS3. Well, that's that's back when I did have the hockey games, but I don't play hockey no more. Hey, so listen. Uh, uh, enough of that. <laughs> it it's I I know y'all see y'all young right y'all y'all young. So fashion right. Let's talk about fashion a little bit before we get into this uh, this bullshit with with, with Coach Saban. <laughs> um, we <we've> seen <laughs> sometimes I be laughing, dog, because. I see the young cats and they have like, you know what I mean? They'll be coming to the game and like they have on they, they pants and they pants are like stuck at they, at they, what's this right here? Uh, Cal. They, they you shins? know what I mean? Yeah. Like the, 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 the top of the shins? Yeah. Like the, so, <laughs> so I know that you guys are really into fashion. All y'all in the shoes, fashion, all that bullshit. Now, NBA fashion. Y'all went through and, 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 or Jay went through, one of y'all went through and, and dug up some of y'all favorite um, looks to try to show me that some things are okay and, and I need to get out of my thinking. So let me see what y'all got, dog. So since Golden State plays tonight, we got the first one. Who is this? Juan Toscano Anderson. Who? Right there. The yeah, I don't even know who that is. Juan Toscano Anderson. Okay. Oh, okay. Can't even log in to Instagram. I think. Nah, I don't yeah, worry about that. So, so fly. what? Huh? That's fly to me. To me. She's explain to me why. What, what, what kind of? Hold on. I gotta see the kicks and everything. I, think like, I gotta. Yeah, I gotta zoom awesome in. Jay. When you put like those browns and stuff, like those neutral colors mm -hmm. with black, I like that look. Okay. So this is your own personal uh, thing. This is not yeah. from. Like say what colors match and what patterns and all that. You're not going all that. You're just well, going off of what you like. No, I mean, no, I mean, I he say is, the colors like nah, he is the fly, neutral though. colors. Yeah, Those like oh, you with it, Stu? Like I'm with, like like, I I mean, yeah, I'm with it's it. I mean, he got so, the so, he got the, the like the, the sweater. Thing. Yeah, the sweater. sweater, and then he got the like the hat. Go yeah. with the go with the shirt. Because yeah. if he had on he, like not the sweater, it would just look regular. Like, and then what he if he had on blue jeans, he wouldn't do it. Nah, it wouldn't do it. Nah, it still might. Yeah, it still might. It depends on how the jeans look, though. 
okay. Yeah, it depends on what know. type of jeans he putting on. So, but them pants, like, kind of, like, it add that, like, little flair to it. Like, yeah. all right, the, like, the that's, swag, like, a little different. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, he yeah, added a little color. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, okay. So, so on a scale of 1 to 10, 10 being a high, what you give him? I might give it pretty high. To me, that's, like, a good casual 9 fit. For real? It's 8. Still, yeah, that's that's a solid eight. It's a solid eight on. fit. Eight. I, I go back yeah, he get a solid eight like, for ooh, the fit. Yeah, it's eight. Six, six and a half. Move to the next one. <laughs> <laughs> the, next one. <laughs> the next one, since they're playing tonight, so we got Jason Tatum, but this is one of his. All right, picks. Jason Tatum clothes always. Tight. No, I ain't this gonna lie. This, 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 look at the pants. Like this before, pants. look before we even pull this. So y'all agree? Usually, tight. Be- before we even pull this no. pick up, before I even put this up here, I'm gonna just let y'all know this is a ten fit for me. Because of, the, because of the, you, the, 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 the the behind the whole the whole story behind it like it's just a ten for me like I, I that's that's all I'm gonna say and I'm gonna put it up and, and y'all pants. just be the judge. Like you can't really see with his pants. Yeah, that's like, a ten. His, that's definitely but, but, a ten. But his pants are like his pants has got pictures of like NBA stuff. No, it's yeah, like I, a, I see Jordan. It's pictures of Jordan and Kobe. Like that's dope. just Jordan and Kobe. Yeah, that's dope. Why y'all can't zoom in on the pants? Because it's because it's it's like now I get. I mean, that's that dope. That's dope. Just because he's paying homage. You know he's what I mean? Like, thing. that's, yeah. that's, it's so much more to it than just the fit. He paying homage to the oldest. You know what I'm saying? He definitely got MJ on us. You got, I saw Magic. I saw it. So he paying homage. That was dope. That was dope. I see why y'all like that one. I see why y'all like that one. Who you got next to me? We got some girls, WNBA, LA Sparks, Elizabeth Oh, I'm Kandich. glad you included the women, of course. Hold up, hold up. Um, of course. Come on, Stu. No, find not that Elizabeth one. Cambridge. Wait till we show your shoes. We're going to have to show these people your shoes because, dog, yeah. you wore it's these the, shoes. It, it and was I know the you, shoes. It's the shoes. Yeah, but you it's slow the right now, it's dog. The shoes, like you, it boy. is the shoes. But you, oh, you can, I pulled it up and it, it just, You can pull up the one that you got right there, but that's from uh, South Carolina women's basketball. What you mean? The one with the backpack in her hand? Uh, it don't even matter. She's still look good in it. I'd give her a 10. Who? The one with the backpack? Just because of the Gucci lady. fit. Where she, who you talking about? This oh. is who he's talking who about. Who is that? Who I said first. Uh, from King. the L.A. Sparks. Oh, Elizabeth King. What she got on that Gucci? She got, she that got that on Gucci the Gucci on. socks. The whole Gucci, the whole it's Gucci, Gucci fit. The Gucci socks? Gucci dog. With like... She got on heels? That's, yeah. yeah. She, she, she went in on that one. I like it. It's a given I got money. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Dope. Okay. Okay. All right. So, so what she get? Oh, oh she. To me, she I might t- give it like a seven, eight. Mm-hmm. It's nice though. Don't get me wrong. It's nice, but it's mm-hmm. not. That's not yeah. my style. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. I feel you. What you got? I right? give it a nine. I like it. Like yeah. it's, it look classy. To me. Yeah, it's that cl- like like. See, I give it a ten because she giving that like that businesswoman That's look. What I'm saying. But it's still like like, it's like that, I got a game. Right yeah, now. <laughs> I got a game tonight, but I got business and I'm still sexy. You know what I'm saying? Like that type of vibe. Like yeah. So what you gave it? I gave it a ten. Damn boy, you give out tens like that was just Jason Tatum and her, bro. Goodness gracious! I ain't give the other dude. I gave the other dude. You should be the judge eight. all the time, dog. Like I gave the other kid a seven. You know what I mean? About a seven, seven, seven. Right. Uh, who else? Who we got one more lady. We can do one more lady. Let's you want to do, do Sue Bird lady. or you want to do Zaya Cook? Who? Let's do Sue Bird. Do Sue yeah. Bird. Let's do yeah. Sue Bird, the OG, man. Stop playing. Do Sue Let's Bird. do Sue Bird. She's swaggy. Let's do Sue. Sue Bird yeah, is Sue. so fly. Legend. Man. Yeah, now she really giving like that business woman, but I got a game tonight to for real. Play this. She's supposed to retire. But she she's still playing. And she's still fly. One of the oldest still playing. She's still fly. So what you giving it, Millie? I love Super. I'm giving her a ten. A ten? What you got, Ron? Eight. What you got, Ro? Sue Bird. I like Sue Bird. That that was that was cla- that was clean. I was I give Sue Bird about a seven and a half. <laughs> seven and a half. I give her eight. Cause she you a know. legend. Yeah, she a she legend. Is a legend. I give, I'm giving her that yeah, extra no point because of the legendary it, no status. You know what I'm saying? She's definitely a legend. I, I can't even argue with that. But hey, that was good right there. Um, now, overall. Overall, we put all four of them together. Who went, who walks away with the? the we gotta the, do a girls and a guys. Nah, we ain't doing that. Why we, we don't we have to do a guys? Up. No, we don't. No, we don't. We do all all of them together. Nah, we not doing a women's winner and a guys winner. I One like winner. So There's no. See, that's the thing with everything that was going. Everybody think that everybody got to get a trophy. Everybody that don't got to get a trophy. Everybody don't got to win. You mix them together, pick one. 
Both of them are in categories that we're highlighting their clothes, we're highlighting their fits, we're highlighting their swag. Who wins? You know what I'm saying? I'm going to have to give it to Jason Tatum. Tatum. He was my only 10. Tatum, yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah. Tatum definitely took that Ta- one. He so took the cake. Tatum, yeah. yeah. I, I, I checked just, two, Tatum, too. It was too good. Hey, that was dope. Yeah, that was that dope. was tough. And he had yeah. MJ on the front. And Kobe. Like, I mm-hmm. need that yeah. shirt. And Kobe, Kobe on the pants. That's on the pants. And he sent like, Kobe a text before, um, what was it, Game 7? Yeah. And he wore the Miami. Pr- that was on his pants, too? No, yeah. no. That he, was on the pants. He wore the, he wore the purple and gold wristband, though. But he posted the text on Instagram. And it was saying, like, I got you. Anyone? Yeah. Damn. I hope you go hey. get him wild, low key. Like I low key want Tatum to win a one, just to, just to make him yeah. like just to see man, him in that superstar status because he yeah. already a superstar. Yeah, super. To That's me. why I really want. But him like, to if he get one, you know it's gonna be like you know they associate superstardom and and your legacy well, look, with rings. Well, well, look, if both of them, him, Brown, and 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 now you got the other side with 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 Steph. Now, you know what I mean? Like, they're all fighting for something Some really type of legacy. serious. You yeah. know what I mean? Like, like you just pointed out, uh, that boy fighting to get his chip. Yeah. And to so- solidify himself. I mean, we, like you say, we know he's a superstar. But to be that guy, to be, I got a chip. You know what I mean? It's, yeah. I can't count me out no more. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, yeah, hell yeah. And then on the other side, you got that sa- assassin that's got the chips. And now he want... Everything else that comes with it. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. He wanted a finals MVP to add to that mental. You know what I mean? He wanted to regenerate and restart that Golden State shit. Because honestly, that Golden State shit set up for a couple more runs, dog. <sighs> it ain't just set up for this year. Yeah, they got some dogs. They probably waiting. got about, about three left. That's yeah. what I'm telling you. Yeah, and he could three P to get like he could three out. They could pull three out yeah, like, could, like which nothing. Which is crazy. Because, I mean, history repeats itself. Right. Yeah, and they have like a really good developmental system too. Yeah, they do have a yeah. good developmental coaching system that bring in them guys that you don't hear about that 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 that, that yeah that, that come out there and produce. And you know the thing about it, 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 it's almost like you know it's like the football equivalent uh, to the Patriots. You know what I mean? Like they develop their guys, they keep everybody in there, they keep the nucleus of the guys, and then they bring in guys that fit the program, that fit what we do. Whether it's you coming in, because everybody go to go to state. What you know, you ain't going to go to state to put up no points, dog. You going to go to state to rebound and get that thing out and rebound and run the floor and do what you do. You ain't going there to put up no points. They don't need nobody to put up no points. You know what I mean? So they understand their role. And I think one of the one of the guys that I I take my hat off to with that shit is Draymond. You know what I mean? I hear a lot of people say, you know, question how good he is and this and that. But dog, that man unequivocally for his whole tenure with the Golden State Warriors has been that glue for them no matter what. So, you know, hats off to that boy. And it's going to be tough to beat Golden State. It's going to be tough to beat them. It's going to be tough yeah. to beat them, especially with their home court advantage. It's going seven. It's going seven so? games. I hope it goes seven. I do. I hope it goes seven. I want to see. I don't think that all these damn series should go seven. Like, you know what I mean? Like, from the beginning of playoff basketball, like, why every series got to be seven games? Like, you know what I mean? Give me three for the first round and get them up out of there. And he could go five or and go seven or something like that. But goodness gracious. But I love this one in seven. Yeah. I love this. I mean, the final should be in seven. You know, so I'm, I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing this tonight. And I'm, listen, however they jump out and start going to be a big deal. It's going to be a huge deal. Yeah. Uh, speaking of uh, Jalen Brown, he just signed with Kanye down to sports. His first athlete. Oh, and Aaron Donald signed with him too. Oh, Lord. that's 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 Antonio Brown is the president of yep. of, of Don Don Sports. What's the name of Don Donda. 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 Donda is like after his mom. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah, that's dope. I mean, good luck to them, man. You know, I, it's funny because when you when you see that right, and and you think like, man, why would they sign with them? Who's gonna negotiate? Who's gonna wanna? You know what I mean? Because of the the, the shit with. A B, uh, shout out to that boy from the crib. I know, know him. Um, but they, we gotta understand, man. They got people doing them contracts, man. Yeah. They got you know Lawyers, real, yeah, real, real everything. agents. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's a, that guy is just the the face. Somebody that that um, they put in that position because of who he is and because of the notoriety that he brings to that label. You know what I mean? So. Shout out to them, man. Good, good job uh, by them. I, clearly, they doing doing some work, and some people feel um, 
all right with signing with them and having them in charge of their business and their future going forward. I mean, Aaron Donald's a big name. Yeah, for real. <laughs> for real. You know, so shit. Good luck. Shout out to them and good luck to them. You think Antonio Brown will play football again? No. No? You think he's done? I mean, I, I, I just don't see how any team would, put they, would touch him um, just because of everything else that comes with it. And you know the other thing that comes with that is, man, as, as years go by and time goes by, and time in football, you see how quick it is that you're out your prime or they feel like you lost a step or whatever it may be. But as that goes, now you got other draftees coming in and, and other fast guys and other guys that could do what you can do. And so, shit, they just forget. And not, I forget about you, but you, you know, like anything else, you get passed up. Yeah. Guys, guys come in that are better than you, that are cheaper than you. Also, that are also not coming with all that bullshit you coming with. You know what I mean? So, GMs don't want to deal with that. And receivers, don't get it twisted. AB is a phenomenal, phenomenal receiver. AB is one of the hardest workers that I didn't have the privilege of being around him, but the guys that I know that were around him, and also I've seen him train just being in front of the crib. He's a, I mean, I don't know if anybody works as hard as him. T.O., you could put T.O. also in that category. Tom, you know, guys like that. Like, nobody's working harder than those guys, you know what I mean? Yeah. But it's the other shit um, that comes with it that you don't want. You know yeah. what I mean? You can't, you can't tolerate that shit. And that's just the bottom line. That's tough. What you think? What you think? You think? Uh, uh, oh, I don't think. I don't think he'll ever play again. Just yeah. because of all the comments he made after he got like done playing, it was like, all right, like you, you really gotta, you really talking over your mouth now. It's yeah. like you saying all of this shit about Tom Brady. You saying shit about Colin Kaepernick. You saying all kind of shit just, just because you emotional. And I mean, teams watching that, and yeah. you, they, you already got the stuff that happened in New York where they thought you snuck a girl in the. A uh, hotel or whatever, and then you running out with your shirt off. You half naked in the stadium. Like it's just yeah. stuff like that that teams won't tolerate and won't yeah. want around their team. That's crazy. Yeah, that was that was like a scene. Like that was the scene of the season. Like yeah. that is literally the NFL season in a picture. Like honestly, this NFL season, bro. It, people like when people. Uh, identify with AB, that's the scene they remember. Yeah, they, yeah. they're going to forever remember that. Yeah, they remember that right there. You know what I mean? They don't remember um, nothing else as far as like, it's the same shit like what happened with Will Smith and this whole slap shit. You know what I mean? Like, this man did, and I watched the movie, dog. I watched the movie, right? Phenomenal movie. Like with the movie that uh, Chris Tucker was clowning, or what movie? Well, the uh, the movie with him where it's about uh, Venus and Serena's oh, yeah, dad, yeah, yeah. Sir Charles. Um, phenomenal movie. I don't know what 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 was Chris Tucker's clowning. He was he was clowning like his wife because she has uh, alopecia. Oh no, nah, that's what yeah. I'm saying. Chris, Rock. Chris, Rock. Chris Rock. Rock, Chris Rock, Chris Rock. I'm tripping. I told you, dog, I said damn I shoes. said Chris Tucker. Chris Tucker, man. Yo, shoes. It's the shit. Wait, it, too. Chris Tucker. It is. Man. It is. It's okay. We was talking about Friday bro. today. It's yeah, okay. we was. We was talking about Friday. <laughs> she today. did. She did. Yeah, she Day -day. did. Tell me I look like Day Day. She told me I look like Day Day. I had, I had a little muscle shirt. You do look shirt like Day Day. Like and she acts like Day Day. No, I don't. <laughs> Mike Epps. Now, that's the compliment you shouldn't want, though. Acting like Day Day stupid ass. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. nah, I don't want that. Yeah, hell yeah. no. I was, on my, about I was on my way to the store to buy them 20s. Nah, them 10s. But I keep them clean. I got on this tangent. What was talking about? Oh, Antonio Brown and like how you how he was remembered as a. At and like, you talking about Will Smith? Will Smith and the slap. Yeah, shit. it's the same shit like with him with the slap shit. He get up there and you do all that stupid shit. You go up there and slap this man because of a com comedian making a joke, whatever the reason is. Now, the movie that you won an Oscar for or whatever that was, you won. No one even remembers that. Mm -hmm. nope. Nobody don't remember that man won that shit that night. Nobody, dog. All they remember is the slap. Do you remember? You remember? Nah, I ain't even. Him? Do you remember him going up there for anything else but that slap? No, I, not a damn. I, I wasn't even watching the Oscars. I'm gonna be real. <laughs> right. I, I don't watch that shit right. anyway. I didn't even know it was I on. I wasn't watching it either. <laughs> I wasn't watching it either. But you can't remember nothing else about no. it. You know what I'm saying? All you, anything that anybody's talking about about that shit was the slap. Yeah, and they took that it from it. him. And they took his Oscar back. They Maybe. took the Oscar. Yeah, he had to get that thing back. No shit. Yep. I thought they, they did, banned him from the Oscars. I know they banned him for 10 years. Yeah, you had to get that, you had to get that Oscar back. Yeah, you had to get that thing. 
That ten that's years, nice success. Ten years what? for a slap is insane, especially yes. if you're talking about my wife. Maybe like, a don't year. play. Like the next year, yeah, but ten years, that's a lot. But then again, like I see, like it could have brought them so much bad publicity, yeah, like yeah, yeah. having that, but like, if, but if like having bro, national, though, like that. Exactly, like they actually nah, they got bro. good publicity because people weren't even watching the high school, <laughs> so yeah, their rating, their, they their they ratings are that. terrible. But they got sponsors. Y'all don't understand. They don't care about that shit. They don't care about uh the rating, dog. It's the Oscars, like it's some shit that's always gonna be around. You know what I mean? Like it's it's the it's like it's like if you had a tennis match and you screaming loud when everyone else is quiet, or you had a golf tournament, motherfucker about to swing and you scream. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like it's a certain standard that you have to uphold in that realm, and the Oscars is the ultimate standard. So. He sh- what they, the Oscar looking at it like you shitted on us. Yeah, you know what I mean. On our biggest night, with you getting one of our biggest honors, you feel me? So that was like I didn't know it was that big of a thing until all the thing come down and they start talking and he start da 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 da. Everybody start backpedaling and he start apologizing and he getting counseled from this and counseled from that and your I think Netflix. It was a publicity stunt. Was, you do. So you thought it was fake for who? Stunt. Because like you just said, Will Smith is one of like the biggest um actors the oscars is a big night yeah that's gonna get you ratings no viewers. doubt i think it was publicity stunt so you thought the way it was people fake? are explaining it now it was fake i think to me if i fake saw it or his, stage don't say fake well because he slapped that boy yeah it it, was it stage it was like, do you think that, that slap was real like yeah, yeah. that was a real ass slap i thought it was fake i think, I think the they planned but. it though Mm-hmm. Because they got so many ratings and stuff like that. Like, they were trending for, like, two, three weeks. It's still trending. Yeah. I yeah. think it was a publicity And then Jada, oh, no, Jada came out and talked about it today. Because they're trying to keep that. They're not going to ban him for real for 10, for 10 years. I don't think Shit. so. He going to make another movie in the next 10 saying. years. And they're going to have to give him an award. No. He just can't come. Like, mm. Beyonce doesn't ever go to, like, the Grammys. Awards, no. Mm. Drake she don't go to the Grammys no more. Awards, all of that. Yeah, man, they don't need to go to them. I would if I was them, if I was a big star like them. Either I accept that shit on Zoom, <laughs> or accept that shit on, 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 on you know what I'm saying. On behalf, so you used to get like, a Grammy a, or like you know how like the BET all was, of it. But the BET Awards used to be like a big thing, like back yeah. then. Would you go now? Where to the BET Awards? No, I'm not going to that. I'm not going to none of that shit. You see what's going on around this shit in the They shooting shit up everywhere, man. You understand me? I got go over and strap, huh? It was just another shooting the other day in uh, Oklahoma, to tell you. in Tulsa. That, that was like today, huh? Nah, was, I think it was yesterday. 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 Yeah, yesterday. 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 No, I'm not going. I'm not going to uh, to that. I'm not going to that shit. I'm not going to that. Just like I'm not going to. <laughs> I know one place I will go though. I will go to. I wish I would have been at SEC Media Day when Jimbo and Coach Saban walked by each other. You know what I mean? I wish I'd have been there for that. Now, Stu, you, 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 you've been all over this shit with Coach Saban, dog. I mean, what? How has his week been? I mean, he, like, he, he been? really been backtracking. I mean, it's, it's it's more like him coming back and saying, like, look, I, I shouldn't have said what I said. I don't know what somebody slipped me. Like you said, somebody must have slipped him some shit, and he was just. He was just feeling himself, and he was like, "Look, I I said some things that I shouldn't have said. I went against the code. It's just, it's just, you know, he he admitted for his. He was a man about what he said, and I re, I kind of respect him for going back on his uh, word because he was fucked I up at first. Fuck that. But, what is wrong with you? Oh, so you so you just not forgiving he him for that? Not, he shouldn't have said listen. it. Listen, but I mean, at least he, you know, what I'm saying, at least he was like, "Look, I said what I said." But I'm sorry for saying what I said. Well, if he meant it, he should have just said, I said what I said, and I meant it. Yeah, he, he, I mean. Instead of going back on yeah, I mean, he's Nick Saban. You, Who's going to touch you, honestly? You're right. Dog, that's, that's clean up time. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That was mop up duty. That's clean up time. Clearly, that's clean up time, dog. Like, first off, we talk about Saban, dog. We talk about Coach Saban that is so strategic about everything that he does, everything. So, I'm not buying that shit about him. Now I shouldn't have done this. I shouldn't have. He got the reaction and got the notoriety and publicity and everything that he wanted out of that shit. I guarantee he got more money from the donors. He got the 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 the, the his players to take notice. He got. I just seen he's leading in recruiting. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so nil ain't messing with him with this class right now, is it? You know what I mean? So. 
I don't buy that shit, honestly. I don't buy him talking about, I shouldn't have done this, I shouldn't have done that. I think Coach Saban knew perfectly well what he was doing. I think Coach Saban knew exactly how to spin it, how to make it take off. Um, and that's what happened. And I think he got exactly what he wanted out of it. Mm-hmm. I mean, I, I mean what, what repercussion did he get from that? Nothing. You know what I mean? Nothing came from that. He ain't losing no bread. He should have stood on nothing. it. He should have stood yeah. on it, but he had to backtrack because sometimes you got to play the politics. You know what I mean? Like, mm-hmm. I didn't know that shit when I was young, but I know that shit now. They got to play that politics shit. They still got to get recruits. You still got to say face. They got to do it. You know, half of them donors want you to do and all that type of shit. So he definitely backpedaled this week. I did read a couple things about it and, and, and talk to some people, <laughs> some people close to what was going on down there with him. And every, listen, everyone was just a surprise from what came out of him. So that wasn't something that was talked about. That was something that came straight from coach and a message that he wanted to get across to his boosters, one, to his players, and then to federal or the NCAA to get the NIL shit under control. Because the one thing that he know is this. If I'm recruiting on a on a, on a, on a level that I've been over the last years without NIL, I could kick everybody's ass. You know what I mean? So let me bring, let me voice, make all this noise, bring that NIL shit down, bring them to talk about it some more, bring, but I'm gonna still be able to recruit these players such as we seeing now going into next year. And I'm gonna get something done about, I'm gonna make some noise about this NIL and get something done about that. Just like he did when, when, when offensive started running the Wildcats and he couldn't line up. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, he made them change the rule. They changed the rule. Like literally they changed. That's why if you watch a college football game, when the offense sell about, the defense gets a chance to sub out. Or if the offense if the offense is going fast, they'll stand over the ball and let the defense sub. Yeah, because they'll let the delay go and yeah, they'll be on the offense right. and not calling the timeout. Because they, they have to let the defense sub they and change their package. They have to let them line up. They have to let them sub. They have to, they have to give them that, that, that time to change personnel and all that shit. Like, that was all a stink. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? That made that go sub. So he could get that third down package on the field. That's what I'm saying. But... You know, that's what it is, and they and 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 they allow they allow it to happen. But it's a benefit for everybody because it's not just him. You know what I mean? He just wants to, you know, man. Listen, as you get old, you don't like change because what you used to. That means you got to change your philosophy, change what you do, what you've been taught, what you've known for a plethora of years. You know, and I think as men, we really don't like change more than women. So with him, it was the same thing. I don't want to see that. I don't want to have to adjust to a faster personnel, a pony personnel on a team, and I got a damn sledgehammer personnel on defense. You know what I mean? We try to bang, and you running all these little he fast guys. He ain't cub. He ain't cub in the office at four wide, stressing. That's what I'm you know, you got your big thumper in the middle trying to get back to the deep thirds of the field, and it just ain't happening. You know what I mean? So that's what it is, man. And, and, and Coach Saban, I don't buy that shit from Coach Saban, but I do buy and I do respect the fact that he's trying to get the advantage back closer to his side. And that's what, that's what you know, everybody always talk about the flake gate with the Patriots because, you know, I was up there. I played for him. And everybody always talk about that. But, hey, listen, bro. Got to get close. You got to, you got to, you got to, you got to walk that Fine, Fine line. line, baby. Yeah, you got <laughs> to. So, yeah, you got to. You got to do some dirty. Yeah, that sometime. fine line. It, it ain't dirty, dog. I mean, like not dirty, it but you know, you got to get it. It's questionable. All right, I, I got you. Okay, got, yeah, it's questionable. I got you. All right, all right. I see. <laughs> I gotta, see. We're gonna take a break, dog. Was you? Hold on, hold on. <laughs> Were you on the team when they had the uh the fumble, the tuck rule fumble? Nah, oh, that was the, before me. Uh before me. You, you, was it a fumble? You, I, it now, wasn't look, a fumble. I, all right, now I was going. I'm gonna so clip this and send it to Tom. It wasn't a fumble. Did Dez really have? Did he really catch that? Who? Dez Bryant. Was it a catch? That was a fucking catch. That, that was why, a catch. I don't. I think it was a catch you too. Think it should have been a flag. He caught it. We would have won Listen, the whole thing. By the rules, by the rules, which are fucked up. Yeah, the catch rule is. It wasn't a catch. But, but right you've seen the season, they said it was a catch. that call that Dez had called a catch over a hundred times. So, in my opinion, it's all on who's fucking calling it. If you got a referee that's... You know how you some people have some people that are sticklers for the rules? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, if you have a referee that's 
Roo, 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 <laughs> right? But you have one that uses his... Di- he's still rule, but uses his discretion and knows that's a damn catch. Then it's a different ball game. I'm, I am I know you're heartbroken. I'm with you on that. I'm not going to so lie. So you're a Cowboys fan? I'm from Dallas. Yeah, but you, you, know, you like my dog Twink. That's how Twink yeah, from Dallas is. I love is. him. Twink, dog. I, yeah. If they said that that was a catch, if they ruled that a catch, that year we were winning the entire thing. Your life is a little bit better right now because of that, isn't it? Is your life better right now? If they rule out a catch back then, is if your life catch is your life better we right won now? The Super Bowl, we would have not answered my question. Yes, your life's better right now. Yes, just because you would have that nobody, ring. Yes, and nobody can tell me they haven't won since before you were born. <laughs> <laughs> I hate that. And I'm that beside, is true. I'm gonna stick beside him. How old are you, Jay? I'm twenty. Gonna be twenty-one. Damn, that's true. <laughs> Having seen Last no championship. Who? When Dion was there. <laughs> he said, who? <laughs> Prime time? Listen. Yeah. You need, listen, whenever we talk football, because, you know, once after, once we get close to the season, we're going to be talking football, and we're going to be picking, and we we gonna, you know, we, we're going to be doing all that. We're going to get all them gangsters on here. You know that. But, listen, you, you may can't talk too much, though, because Dallas, even though, listen, it's so funny. Then I'm even talking about that because, like, look who hat I got on. You see who that's hat that, I got? That's, that's that. my dog, though. That's my dog, Dak. Look, and that. I'm talking shit about Dallas, but that's my dog, uh, Dak. Uh, with his, this is his foundation hat. Faith, fight, faith, finish. You know what I'm saying? And, and he started this um, with his mother. His mother had cancer, and she passed away. Uh, hold on, let me put this back on my dog. And uh, she passed away. He started it for that. Cancer research, uh, uh, donated a plethora of money to cancer research. But what's so crazy is, and this is just how God works sometimes, because he's a, definitely a man of God, uh, Dak Prescott. Um, Black Lives Movement, when all that stuff was going on, and, and all that stuff out in Dallas, and, you know, Dak, from the cancer research and everything that he was doing with his foundation, he reached out to the community and joined the community leaders and joined the police and joined the mayors of Dallas and, and, and been putting together these ride along programs and been putting together these programs where the, 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 the police officers also, the community members, they come together. You know what I mean? They, 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 they interact. They know each other. They know everybody in the community. And they try to put these things away to get away with, with all the stuff that you're seeing, with, 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 with all of us getting killed and all, you know, um, um, black and brown people getting killed um, and just get a better community uh, uh, togetherness with the, the, the people of the community, with the people of the community, the mayors, uh, everybody on the council. So, Shout out to Dak, man. Dak been doing that for a minute, and I know, you, you know, and he also, mental health is a big part of it with him. It goes, so it goes from the cancer research to community, to putting these programs in place, and so now it also goes to mental health to where he's, he's because of, you know, um, the unfortunate suicide of his brother, um, and now it's mental health. He's developing the mental health, reaching out, throwing research towards that as well and putting his money as well in his mouth uh, uh, behind it. And I just have to say, you know, he's one of those guys. He's always up for the uh, a candidate for the, the Walter Payton Award every year for what he does in the community. And I just want to, you know, say a shout out to my brother, Dak Prescott, fellow quarterback, um, that what he's doing for the community. What he's doing for his people. So uh, shout out to Dak, man, for that. Definitely. Give me a break, dog. Right, Can we get a break, dog? Put your ranch. We'll be back.
pop up. You guys see, you don't even say shit like that, dog. That's what I'm saying, though. You don't even say that, though. Bro, I gave you a little point. I give you the... <laughs> look, look, this, this mean... Did y'all see a point? This mean I'm coming to you. If I, if I, I'm not gonna lie, this Bro, what, wait, what did you... What you saw, Jamil? She saw your damn head come over. Hey, that's like when you see somebody walking by, you be like, what's happening? Like that? That's all good. I, I'm... A, I'm no, we learning, cuz. It's all good. Yeah, I'm going to catch it. I ain't we tripping. We going through the motion. We, we, you know, we're trying to get tripping. better. I'm learning. Just like, you know, you, you learn, you live, and you learn, and you go through things. So, look. Let me see. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. This is how it is when you, when you, met, when you, when you, when you deal with your dogs. You uh-huh. know what I'm saying? <laughs> Bro, I was just waking up. I didn't hear back from you. I thought something changed. So... My dog, that's how, you know, honey, shit. Sometimes it goes like that when you're dealing with your dog. He might have hit me. I ain't hit him back. He over there looking at a business deal, looking with the Airbnb and the store he got going on and all this. So, uh, toe feel is a little, um, 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 what are we going to say? Detained. Yeah. It's a little detained. A, a detained yeah. dog. He's, a <laughs> He's in the kennel right now, you know what I mean? And he, he, he uh, unfortunately, he couldn't, uh, they wouldn't let him off the porch today. So we're going to reschedule, we're going to redo my dog uh, and, and uh, get him out here when they, you know, let him off the porch, dog. So, you know, shit happens. We roll with it and go from there. Looked at that list, bro. Yeah, dog. Put, hey, Wait, how you feeling about that list, bro? How you feeling about that? Hey, listen. But before that, let me say this. And I saw the little homie in here a couple weeks ago, um, running back. Oh, That's John. John. Big John. John Emery. John Emery. Now, I know he didn't play last year, mm-hmm. right? I know um, he had a tough year, you know. But just from a little communication with him and seeing how, because I remember John Emery came in LSU as a snotty nose, big dog, you know, from uh, off that river and not knowing what he was going to get into as far as like coming in that, jumping in that water with all them alpha males and having to um, assert yourself. And I think, man, listen, sometimes, you know, the good Lord do things to you. Do things to you to take it from you. Do things to you, honestly, to humble you. And I think it was a humbling experience for Big John. And humble, sometimes you get humble, you get embarrassed. You know what I mean? That all come with that shit. You know what I'm saying? So, and I think all of that, he took it in stride. A young man, he looks he looks like a damn tank, I'm telling you. And it looked like he took it all in stride. His mental seems to be where he needs to be. Oh, he's it fixed the problem that he's had in the classrooms. And, you know, sometimes I hear people talk about these kids, bro, and I'm a little bit sensitive to him because I have a son that's uh, in college and goes through all kind of things himself and a daughter and I also and all you guys, you know, J-O-P, y'all are 20 years old, y'all in college, y'all, you know what I mean? So I have a lot of sympathy and empathy for you guys just navigating through life and navigating through what you guys want to do with your life and definitely for an athlete that get put on these spectrums and get put in these arenas where, you know what I mean, you seem to be larger than life. But you're damn 18 and 19 years old, and you have full-blown adults having... I saw this shit, dog, and I ain't going to lie. I didn't mean to get off, but I was tripping. I saw this thing by people really commenting and tripping on on who LeBron James' son went to the prom with. Yeah, yeah. I did see that. You saw that shit? Yeah, like They're that kids. Was, dog. They I, did that about Trevon Walker, too. Who that is? Uh, the number one pick? Yeah. They did that oh, about okay, okay, yeah. Too. I don't get it. I don't get it, dog. Like, G shit. I don't get it. I don't understand why. Why the fuck are uh, full grown adults that got kids, that got mortgages, that got all kind of stuff going on in their own life? Why you care so much about who a 17 year old kid 
or I don't know how old he is, 17, 18, He's whatever he is. 17. 17 year old kid is going to the damn prom with. And y'all in up and on because it's a white girl? Is that was that the real reason? That, that was the reason. Because I saw that and I was like, nah, not in today's society. In today's society, we still talking about why 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 a brown and black kid is going to the to the uh to the prom with a white girl or a Mexican girl or a Puerto Rican girl or whatever. Dog, you know where that boy go to school at? Sierra Valley. How many of us you think in that school? Yeah, you feel I had, me? I had to realize that too because I didn't think that. Yeah, like uh, for real. How much that they, he, this this boy go to one of the top whatever schools in the country? Okay. It ain't a lot of us in that school. You know what I'm saying? So what? And even then, dog, this man is is uh, if that's what the fuck he want to go to the prom with, that's what he want to go to the prom with. If she was purple, who cares? Right. And people were saying He's some 17. of the same thing. Like when Lonzo came out, like with his girlfriend. Ball. Yeah, Lonzo Ball and them. But Why like, he had a white girl too? Yeah. And and like people, people be white. I just don't. G shit. I just think it's just. I just think people just don't want to see them. Them black. Them black ballers with them white girls. They don't. Yeah, That's nah. all I think it is. It can't they be that. Go ahead. You, you you over there. Say what something. What you Steve. think? Say something. I don't think this. What do you think it is? They no. Say something. <laughs> what else could it be, dog? Because like the look today, on your face, right? Now. In today's society, though, just think about it. In today's society, we see interracial dating, interracial couples all the time, dog. I'm from Jamaica. My aunt is married to a white man from Philadelphia. You feel me? Been married now for over 30 years. We're celebrating like her anniversary coming up in June. Like, come on, man. Like in July. Like, dog. That's been there. This isn't anything new. So what are you, what are people really upset about when you see Bronnie with a white girl at the prom? Or whatever. Come on now. That don't that. That that that. What are you upset about? Are you upset because it's LeBron James's kid, yeah. or are you upset because it's a prominent black man and his son is a white? Gr- like I don't, I don't know. I what what with, is it? I think with Bronny, it was a little bit different because it's like okay, he grew up. His mom is black. His dad is black. LeBron does a lot of things for black people in the black community. So it's like then seeing Bronny go to prom with the white girl, they were kind of just like. But they were disappointed in LeBron and his, and his wife. What they were disappointed in? But I don't know why. It's not that serious. Like, this day and age, it's not that deep. But, I mean, I see why. I don't see why personally why people are mad, but, like, I can see where it was coming from. I don't get it, honestly. Not in today's society. It's like somebody's uh, coming up and saying they're homosexual or whatever. Like okay, you know what I mean? Like it's 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 not something that's like taboo like that anymore. It's not so I don't even I don't understand unless it's just like that still within the community. You know what I mean? It's still like that within the community, within our community, the way you just don't want to see guys and that cetera. Cause dog, we see it every single day with interracial dating and all that. So I don't know what the motive is behind that shit. But it gotta be something different from that dog. And LeBron just became the first athlete billionaire. I saw that boy. That's shout out to LeBron, yeah, boy. That's shout crazy. out, shout out to LeBron, boy. <laughs> shout out to that boy, man. Listen, hey, boy, I love, love. I saw that today too, dog. For the yeah, first, that's... hey, I love that. Hey, shout out to LeBron. Hey, congratulations, man. Continue to do what you're doing, big dog. Continue to move mountains, dog. Continue to, the, 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 the invest in the community. All the great things you do with your schools and everything you do, boy. Listen, boy. Listen. I don't feel like taking my hat off, but if I did, I'd take it off, boy. Salute. Hats off to you, big dog. Like, for real, boy. Like, continue to to, to, to motivate, inspire, and do what you're doing. Man, for everybody, though. That's why I say, man, leave leave LeBron alone and his kids and his family alone, man. Leave that man alone, dog. He doing great things. His kids thriving. They balling. But listen, everybody talking about Bronny. They need to talk talk about about Bryce. Bryce. Bryce Bryce the one. Bryce got bigger. Yeah, Bryce taller than Bryce. Hell yeah. Bryce, what? Hold on, wait. We gotta About pull. What? Let's pull this up. About the what? Picture. They took the picture side. What by you side talking side. about? What? We lying about what? <laughs> they took the picture. We lying about Square Bryce? Bryce a dog? You seen Bryce, Bryce three sixty? Hey, listen. Oh, the one from a week ago in New York City. No, listen. Bryce is more like his dad than than Bronny is. Like as far as like size and yeah, all that. 
Like Bryce B here, Bronny big can, jit. Bronny can Bronny do more than LeBron. Well, not more, but he can nah, do more. Nah, hell, what are LeBron. you talking Bronny, about? Bronny, Bronny is Bronny more of a guard than LeBron. Bronny can't do no more than LeBron. He's more of a guard. Nobody do saying. more than LeBron. <laughs> what are you I talking work, about? I worded it wrong. Nobody do you show sure did. You talking about Bronny could do more than LeBron? No. <laughs> what? What I meant to say, he's more of a guard than LeBron. I apologize. He, he ain't. He is. Well, I mean, like, like in terms of his, like, his, like his mentality, is, his mentality is he's guard only first. a guard. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. He's yeah. only a LeBron's guard. A LeBron's guard, a guard, two or yeah. three or four, four or five, Jeez, six, <laughs> oh. six. If they got a OP, <laughs> nah, LeBron a monster, but Bryce, y'all got some put Bryce. No, is Bryce. Yeah. You see him, Bryce? Shit. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Bryce, Bryce is more like LeBron as far as like size. And, and, and ability Absolutely. than than Bronny. Bronny's just different, you know what I mean? Bron, like you say, he a combo guard. Bronny's a combo guard, dog. Right. Like Bronny's, a, he, you could tell all the one thing all of them got though from that boy and, 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 and his wife. All of them got size because Bronny, Bronny still bowled up and he can shoot. Bronny could shoot, Bronny. But see, he got to, and you know, LeBron had to instill that and put him in him because LeBron, he knew there. that boy wasn't gonna be no Bryce. Watch, I'm I'm intrigued by Bryce, dog. I've been watching them since I've been saying because I be on. Listen, I don't be really knowing. You know this because you be sending me shit. I don't really be knowing how to navigate through the like the Facebook and all mm. that shit. So I just be reading shit as it come up on the phone. I can't go get it or nothing. So I just reading and Bryce pop up. Okay, listen, three sixty taking him to the hole, going up against the other number one. Like Bryce be balling, dog, for real, for real. And and like everybody's taking notice now, though. Everybody taking notice of that boy. What we got, Stu? Hey, do we listen? Is that what? Let me ask you this. I wanted to ask y'all that. What NFL? What prospect that LSU? Let me see if y'all are gonna say who I'm gonna say. What's prospect that LSU right now? Because I know we're gonna talk about the little mock draft shit coming mm -hmm. up, Stu. But what prospect at LSU right now is the highest prospect y'all think on 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 Mel Kiper or anybody board right now? Who's the number one? K is the uh, uh, J Roy J Roy. Nah, man. The Except MCU? for Booty, y'all know Booty. I know. It's I mean, B J. The second one. B J. Second one. B J. Ojolar. You say B. You say D J. Who you say? Come on, dog. It's either B J. It's either B J. or uh, J Roy for me. Who? Either B J. or Jaqueline Roy. That's the that's the two that Jaqueline? Yeah, Jaqueline is one of the highest dog, rated. Yeah, he's cool. highest rated. Yeah. One of the highest that's rated. my little dog too. You know they play oh, with my son. That's my little dog right there, Jay. Up there, how I'm thinking. Who? Huh? Go ahead. I was finna say BJ, and maybe I might give it to Jay Ward. I'm with you. <laughs> yeah, I'm with hey, you. That boy, a dog. He is I'm a dog. I'm with you. That's who I was thinking. My dog, Jay. And you know, dog. Listen, be like you gotta understand. You gotta understand where they are and what the premium is on their position. Right, BJ's gonna go. BJ's gonna go. BJ BJ is is a phenomenal pass rusher that has to just develop one more move. But as far as when it comes to speed, and he's also aggressive in the run play. Mm -hmm. In the run game, BJ's aggressive, and I think that's one of the things when you talk about space eaters and you talk about edge players, you won't definitely want somebody that's gonna get home and bring you them sacks. But you also don't want them to be a liability when it comes to the run game. And when it comes to the run game, based on what I've seen him do last year, and in a very tough, tough year where shit was, we already know, shit was terrible, right? So to see what he did in the run game was very, very uh, uplifting for me because I thought he was an undersized guy that could not – Go upfield and then redirect and come when he see that run, especially with all this damn RPO shit that everybody runs. So he's very, but Jay Ward, bro, Jay Ward, man, is 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 I think one of those guys that's gonna fly up the charts. I think Jay Ward is one of the the the. It comes from that same mold of of those guys that's worn that seven. You know what I mean? And I think Jay Ward just through last year just showing that he's a phenomenal football player, very instinctive, very, very instinctive, very smart, and very ferocious when he comes up to make a tackle. And that's what you look at with those things. And if the ball is in this area, is a ball hawking 
uh, safety. safety yeah. So I'm I'm very high on Jay Ward uh, uh, being that not even a sleeper dog because I don't even think he's a sleeper based on how he played last year. But oh y'all ain't telling I had that boosie. Um, <laughs> 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 y'all ain't telling me, dog. Uh, but said that you know, boosie. just based on that, you know what I mean? Just. Uh, and I say that little affectionate because I love Boosie. Boy, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a Boosie oh, fan. Oh, God, yeah, for real. So I don't mean that with no disrespect. I, I, fool, I fool with Boosie. We got the same barber. Shout out to my dog, Poole. I shot him out last week. But listen, I've been hearing that Boosie since I came to LSU in 97 when he was, you know, a young jit and, and just was making music and Dude, making jits. his bones. So <laughs> shout, out, shout out to Boosie, man. That's definitely one of my favorite artists right there, man. But, Thanks. you know, that's a, Yeah, absolutely. Look at OP, OP. OP. Like, look, Boosie, look, Boosie you, really, like, hey. like, Wayne get a lot of the credit for, like, Louisiana rap, but Boosie really, like, made Louisiana rap what it is. Like, oh, Wayne was more mainstream with it. Boosie was talking about the trenches. Yeah, Boosie right. was with the okay, trenches okay. with B.R. Like, okay, real, yeah. Like, right, I see what Boosie you're saying. Boosie talked well, Wayne was in the trenches in New Orleans, though. that's what I was about to say, though. I think... How old you in like, OP? Yeah, I'm 20, but, like, but look, oh, hey, come right on now, now you can't, like, you, you, nah, you, 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 Boosie, Boosie album, listen, Boosie and Webby first album. Listen, that was my, album. that was my, album. the first album. Yeah, I had. Boosie and Webby. You must have been on that shit. That I was on it. That's Boosie and Webby. No, nah, but I mean that was a good album, bro. Like, I'm but to tell you. don't discredit them. I'm boys not discrediting them. I'm not hating them boys like they said they did. They don't discredit because they want mainstream. Until they hit mainstream, that's what you know I'm what saying. saying? Like, but like, them boys Boosie got it. was talking more for like the Louisiana. Trips well, he was talking more. Different both audience. of them was talking about where they was from and what yeah. they were doing, and that's what that what made you gravitate to all That's like what I'm that. saying. You know right. what I'm saying? Based on what they say, and you know the relevance and the real of it. Yeah, like when so, they start mentioning streets or like correct. attractions, like correct. saying like you know, uh, shot that boy by the blue bayou. Like you listen right. to it, like oh, blue bayou right there. Right. Yeah, hundred percent. Speaking of rappers, you you mess with Kodak. Yes, yeah. I mean, I know he's from the crib. I Kodak, know he's from the crib. Kodak from a lot of from Fort Lauderdale. He, so you don't mess Pompano. with him like that? I thought he was from yeah, Pompano. Fort, yeah, that's Fort Lauderdale. That's I mean, all oh, like Kodak is from Fort Lauderdale, bro. Yeah, Broward County. Like, yeah, I like Kodak absolutely, but I'm from Miami. Oh, all right. You know what I'm right. saying? That's but not, yeah, absolutely. I, I like Kodak. Kodak, Kodak not Atlanta. Atlanta. That's not like that song. It's not Atlanta. That ain't the crib. Yeah, that's the, the crib. crib. I'm from the, the crib. crib. Yeah, absolutely. That's not Miami. Miami. And, and, you know, it's so thank you. When I was growing up, growing up, that's you know what I'm saying. That's kind of that's how it was. You know what I mean? Like you from Miami you had like you know the Dave Brower All Star Game, basketball, football. You had a separate you know. Whatever, like New Orleans let out their metro and Baton Rouge let mm-hmm. out their metro is the same yeah, thing yeah. there. Yeah, and you always compare who was this, who was that, you know what I mean? Who was the monsters, who was doing yeah. So, you know, it developed that, that rivalry, but, it, you know, at the crib it goes deep. It goes deep, you know what I mean, because of the great players that's on both sides of the fences, you know, and that's why. So it developed... And then my dog in Miami and South Florida and, and Fort Lauderdale and Pahokee and Tampa and Orlando and Tallahassee and I mean everywhere in between yeah. from the bottom the key way all the way up, you know what I mean from 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 the ghouls down there in Cole Gables to everywhere it's 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 football. Yeah, I was about I mean? to say like, I do have them dogs in, football, in, in dog. Florida. It was all football. It was. It was now nah, you had some basketball players come out of the you know the Tim James the Corey what the the, the Corey Lewis of the world played at Florida State and guys like that the Corchianis uh, of the world but man it ain't nothing like coming out of there and you know I'm lining up every week I'm I'm seeing you know on the other side it's 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 it's, 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 it's Dre you know what I mean it's Santana Moss you know what I mean it's guys that it's Frank Gore. On the other side, you know what I mean. It's you ever played uh, Sean Gage. Taylor? Nah, he was younger than I was. Oh, all right. You know, right. but it's but it's guys like that come yeah. out same place. Sean Taylor, you know what I mean. It's guys like that that did you hear about? You going to see every week? It's it's it's. I mean, dude, in that hotbed of South Florida, Broward County, Pompano, like you pointed Didn't out. Didn't Lamar all come of, from there? Who? Lamar Jackson. Yeah. Yeah, he's Pomp- Lamar Jackson from up. I think he's up from in Tampa. If I'm not mistaken, oh, I thought yeah, he was from Pompano Beach. Yeah, oh, maybe that's still there. Hey, that's still up the road. It ain't Miami, all right, all right. Yeah, you know. <laughs> so yeah, but it's all those guys. Yeah. Yeah. Anquan, Anquan Bolden, all those guys, man. All those guys coming out of that place, man. Where 
every week. You gotta every bring that. you gotta play. You gotta play. You don't know who's on the other. I mean, you know who on the other side, and you know what you gotta bring. I mean, every week, dog. You better bring every that dog week, for real. Dog. I mean, dog, I remember my one. My one was ninety seven. We had not me, not us. Miami South Ridge, like ninety six. Miami South Ridge, which had a runner up for the Heisman Trophy in Troy Davis. I remember that year, dude. They had twenty one players sign Division one scholarships. Miami South Ridge, 21 players off of one team. They was like the miss. They, they won the national championship that year and all that. But just imagine 21 players, though. That's some IMG shit. That shit crazy. They was like IMG before IMG. Yeah, it's just a regular school. Just because though. of where they were. Just imagine this, dog. You got black, black. Mm-hmm. Me. Kind of mixed black, most black. The whole football team black. But you got athletes that that they're bona fide athletes, D one athletes, but they're disciplined. Mm. You feel me? Oh yeah, yeah. Like they're disciplined. Yeah. And they beating your ass. Oh yeah. My senior year, we played on the halftime. The halftime score was fourteen seven. We was up. We dropped the touchdown before half. The final score of the game was sixty three to fourteen. You feel me? Don't have halftime adjustments is crucial. Nah, it wasn't even that dog. It was just. They just beat you They were y'all. like, we done had enough of fucking with y'all, man. Let's go. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They we're turned it on quick. They turned it up. They had too much. Too much. Too much. Way too much. Who they had on that team that we would know? Troy Davis. Cedric Irvin. Cedric Irvin was the running back at Michigan State. Troy Davis was, I mean, runner up for the Heisman at Iowa State. Most mm-hmm. yards. Probably like the fifth, fifth most rushing yard in NCAA history. Just a gangster. Damn. Troy Davis. And I remember watching him play just growing up in Miami, and he had a a, a, a little brother, Darren Davis, Troy Davis, Darren Davis. And I think that he had an older brother before him. It was three of them out of uh, South Miami, South Ridge. And you know, Don Solinger was their coach. Solinger actually ended up going to the University of Miami and coaching there after he left Miami South Ridge. And my high school coach. Uh, Jerry Hughes was actually on that South Ridge coaching staff when they was doing all that shit. So he went, left the West Virginia, and came back. But it was it was crazy, dude. It was like the talent that comes out from Miami, and that's out in the league. That's even from that. It, it's it's unbelievable. The Hall of Famers, all that. You know, it's just a bunch of plethora of guys that's shit still going. I saw Frank Gore knock somebody out the other day boxing or some shit. So so where would you rank Florida at on that like? I know you. you probably, all right, all right. I see. What the fuck is wrong with you? Little, what you think? Little I'm home saying? bias, but it's one. Cool. It's cool. I think and Louisiana only. number one. But now you know, let me say this: Louisiana, we got them dogs. Louisiana per capita is number one in my because it's a lot smaller. Yeah. Than California, Texas, and Florida, but and you know, for me being from the crib, you know I mean here per capita. Louisiana got talent. Drive in any direction. Like it's, it's so much talent based on how condensed it is. You know what I mean? So when it comes to that, yeah, Louisiana right there with them. Definitely. Like, I will rank that shit, like, just based on, because you, Louisiana naturally, you got, you had a disadvantage because you're small. Mm-hmm. You got four people. Going up against Texas, California, and Florida. All you know what I'm saying? 20 million. That's yeah. what I'm saying. So, but if you take those the big numbers out and just associate it, they right there with them. Yeah. Yeah. Honestly. Best athlete you've seen from Louisiana. Shit. Um Odell Beckham is right there. I was just finna say that. You, you think I was just you finna think say that. you think Odell? He's right there. Odell Beckham is is fucking is right there. He's a phenomenal athlete yeah he you is. know what i mean and you know you, i'll like you always hear athlete and to me that transcends to multiple things mm-hmm. like you could do multiple things you could be like a Deion sanders and um go hit a home run in the world series you can play in the super bowl you know what i mean all those type of things like you just a a a, a dog you know and when i think of that i think of a guy like Odell Beckham, um, a guy that could dribble a soccer ball, 
and could bicycle kick into a goal, that could kick a field goal, that could go out there and shoot three pointers and all that type of shit. You know what I mean? Like, could be just as successful in another sport if you really put your all to it, mm-hmm. like you do with football. So he's one of the ones that come to mind um, first. And honestly, too, bro, uh, Louisiana, um, I will honestly have to say, like a guy like Ryan Perilou, just from me seeing him quarterback back in the day that came to LSU with transfer, like phenomenal athlete, um, could do all the things that you see and want to do with any sport, basketball, football, baseball. But for me, Odell is right up there. And and also, man, Patrick Peterson. Patrick Peterson, to me, is one of the most phenomenal athletes. Big, strong, um, physical, yeah, physical athletes to come out of LSU. And, you know, like I said, could do all the things, track, uh, basketball, like all the things that, you know what I mean, great golfer, like all that stuff that, you put into those put into those categories. He can do them. He's doing. But Odell is right up there at the top for me as as one of the most impressive. The most impressive athlete I've ever seen in my life, though, is um, like in person. I've seen a bunch on television, but in person um, is Randy Moss by far. Like just in all of the movement, the ability, the agility, the just everything. Yeah, I, I think Randy. So you think Randy the best receiver ever? I think he's in a conversation. I definitely think he's in a conversation. I think that Jerry Rice is also in the conversation. So give me your, give me your top five. Give me your top five receivers all the time. All the time, uh, and no, no, no particular order, no particular order. I'm gonna say Jerry Rice, Moss, um, Jerry Rice, Moss. Now, some of this is based on where I think it's going to go to. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? I think that boy um, Cooper Cup is going to be in the discussion when it's all said and done. I love his game. Yeah, me too. I love, you know, everybody always asks me, you know, how you know who to go to. A lot of coverage, just, just, the coverage dictates a lot of where you go at the mm-hmm. football. But it's sometimes where you just know your guy and your guy knows you such as when we're going to have Josh Reed in here and he going to sit down and be able to talk about that a little bit. I'm just having that connection. But Cooper cup man is one of those guys that I think just based on what he's been doing already is going to, I, I, I just, like if I would love to be his quarterback, if I was, you know what I'm saying? In that room, I would love to be his quarterback. Yeah. Uh, so I would put him in the mix, um, with it. Um, some some. I should have said top five retired, top five current. I know because I'm also <laughs> say like Carter that 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 came in and played and all he did was catch touchdowns with Randy Moss before Moss even came into the before came into the he was catching touchdowns and he I mean just like hands I want to know as a quarterback Chris Carter I want to know as a quarterback that when I come to you it's not going to be a pick. You know what I mean? Like when I come to you, you know where you're gonna be. I know where you're gonna be, and we're gonna um, be able to have that connection. And at least I know it's not gonna be interception. And he, I mean, a hundred percent was um, one of those guys, bro. Um, that you could just put the ball up to, and you knew that he was either gonna come down with it, or nobody was gonna come down with it. So what's that for? Mm-hmm. See my final favorite, one of my favorite receivers, and I can't even think back to the old heads because I know there are some gangsters, but I can't think of like the Lance Stallworth and you know all that because I didn't see them play. Yeah, I mean, some of them older guys I didn't see them play. What about Calvin Johnson? Yeah, I was gonna ask you what about Megatron. Megatron was a monster, dog. That 
You definitely got to put Megatron in there. Megatron was a monster. He was like, you know, he was, Megatron was like Randy Moss, but bigger. Right. As far as like stature. Six you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Randy but, was 6'4". Like 6'4", 6'5"? 6'4", 6'5". Megatron was 6'5", right? 6'6". Six, 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 six. I think. Oh, Megatron was a big Mega dog for real, and that four three one, that that four two nine, that's just different at that size. That's like DK Metcalf, yeah, but he was he was, he was DK Metcalf, but four. but with with skill and, and agility, agility. Yeah. yeah, like that yeah. that you yeah, know you that intermediate shit. Megatron in there. I yeah. forgot about that quarterback. Yeah. Well, Stafford, well, Sta- I'm Stafford wasn't like, worse, but, but he was even, just even he was younger. I forgot that he had dudes like Joey Harrington and stuff like that. Dan Harrington. Orlowski. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Hey, like, Dan's a really good analyst, though. Yeah, he is. He's now, a better analyst than, than player. Quarterback, fine, yeah. But fuck, that's all right. Well, I have gonna, a question. We're going to go to like quarterback next. Great, but it's not football, it's basketball. Because I always had this conversation about who's better between Michael Jordan and LeBron. I know who I'm going with. Who you going with? I'm gonna let y'all go first. You better not go. You going with LeBron? We know where you going. No, with. I'm not. I'm oh, going with Jordan. Okay, yeah, I'm. I'm. All, I'm MJ on this because of that. But what like, we when we know. bring that up? What we talking about? Like we talking about basketball. We yeah, not talking about time. philanthropy. Pure, pure no, basketball. We talking basketball. We're not even talking about Jordan. Well, Brand. Fuck, we talking about basketball. That shit ain't close. It's Michael Jordan, but people will like argue me down about it. And I'm just like, For real? yeah. Like I mean, like honestly, after the after the last dance, that really like changed yeah, my whole. That changed real, my whole it, like I had a respect for Michael Jordan. Like I always loved Michael Jordan. Like I I was I mean as a kid, like all I watched was Space Jam. So like right. I knew Michael Jordan. I knew of him. And I knew what type of basketball player he was. But watching the last dance really gave you an insight on like the type of competitor like the type he is, of, exactly. the type of leader he is, the type like how seriously like, he took the game. Like, he's like, gonna force like, you to get better. Yes, like he's he is going to, to force better. you to be great. I like, mean, he, I'm not saying LeBron isn't doing that, but like with MJ, it's a whole different mentality. It's almost like how Kobe's mentality was. Like I'm, I'm going out here and I'm dropping. However much on you. Yeah, like he punched Steve Kerr in the face. Like, <laughs> like you know what I'm saying? Like, come on, dog. You know, like you, you know, dog. Only dogs doing and that. Kerr got his own dynasty. Well, it was exactly. Right. Nose bleeding. Right. That's what I'm saying. Only dogs do stuff like that. Like when you a dog, Listen, you know, he, being a leader is like. Like I'm trying to get better. Like, yeah. You better. Hold, hold your. Te- he held his teammates yeah, to the I, highest I, accountability. I, I totally agree with you 100. percent When people bring this debate up, like real shit, this I've never spoken on. This is always my feeling on it. I never think that they should compare Jordan and LeBron. I don't either. I think they should compare Jordan and Kobe. Kobe, yeah. I always say that, and the only reason I think that is because I think their mentality and everything that they that they go about is is mirror images of each other. Mentality I mean, wise, I would say so, but I don't know if I would compare that one either. I don't who, know who Jordan and Kobe because everybody was different in their own way. I would what definitely else? say the top three is definitely. LeBron, Kobe, MJ. Yeah, it's been top That's the top three. But they're all different in their own way. So I, you can't even compare them. They are different. But when, when you talk about Kobe has gone on record and shows and mimics Jordan's move. Right. And it's He's like done the exact same. They've done it like side by side. His entire I'm to, everything. I'm to, I'm so he mimicked and saw greatness and said, I'm going to be like that. Kobe took the... Foundation. Biggest yeah. star and the biggest thing in the NBA, which was Michael Jordan at the time, the biggest anything. And he mimicked and did every single thing that he did because it was successful. And the mentality, that's the part about it for me that separates whoever you compare him to and brings Kobe into phase. Because when you talk about getting the fights with teammates, Kobe did that. When you talk about cussing fucking teammates out at practice and holding them accountable, Kobe did that. Right. When you talk about not being that nice guy, not having the handshakes and all that shit, and I'm not knocking LeBron for that because he's a different guy. That's how he leads. That's how he does his thing. I'm not knocking. I, I believe that there's more than one way to skin a cat. Right. But when you talk about comparing the greatest to other great ones, I think that the only one, honestly, because of the mentality, because of how he played, because of the championship, because of that no nonsense mentality, because of that, because of that mentality of. I want that last shot. I don't give a fuck if that motherfucker running open or not. I'm going right. to take the motherfucker. Even if it ain't the best thing. It's a mentality. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? And so that's why I say you can only equate Kobe to that when it comes to Jordan. Because even like, today we're talking about that. But with like 
how Allen Iverson changed a lot of the culture in the league. A hundred percent. Like that. hundred percent. Um, I was at that damn finals with AI and, and Shaq and the Lakers and all that. In I Philly. got an AI shirt right now. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so he did change the culture. He, man, AI changed a lot of shit by the NBA. Um, just by how he came in uh, and swagged Check it this out. out. Now, this is MJ. They got the, they got the MJ. I got on my Iverson shirt. Mm-hmm. Now you got Kobe doing the same move. Yeah, he got that from Jordan, Nike. That man, Kobe done said he mimicked that man. Now we're going to get this. Boom, same shit. Same sweet spot. I it just, they same, make it same sweet same spot. Same spot, just. I but Kobe just make it look a little different. He just make it look a little... It's the exact same move, but he make it for look his time. what? Kobe was a little longer than Jordan, right, like a little skinnier, a little slimmer. Made it look what? I can't think of those. You, what you saying? It made word? it look easier? No, I'm saying no. like because they both made it look easy. It's the same move. It's the same but it's move. Like, but I can't put it. In of course, I understand what you're saying. Of course, he's gonna have something a little bit different because it's they're different people. Right. It's Kobe, right. and it's Jordan. But the core of what he's doing. And it's like, you know what I mean? It's just like when they say, like when you hear somebody or somebody do something, you see some shit, you be like, oh shit, that shit was fly. That shit was raw. I'm going to go get that. I'm going to go do that. That's all he did was, 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 is flattery. You know what I mean? All he did was say, you know what? That is the greatest freaking basketball player in the world. Katie wants to don't you, AI shirt. Don't you know that Kobe, Kobe knew how Jordan would work. Who? Katie wanted to see my AI shirt. It was a little cold. That's a draft. That's. I thought that that's AI. That's AI draft. I know. That's dope. But look, all of them mimic each other. And he was like, listen, Jordan's the best. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna be just like him. And that's exactly what Kobe did and took it to a whole nother thing. You know, my thing with, with Kobe, bro, is like, dude, you know, you know, all our all our influencers and our mountain changers and our they all seem like they got they passed away. And to me, Kobe, with what, with what he was doing with women's sport, and especially women's basketball, like, dog, if you, I mean, I know everybody mourned him when he passed away, you know, and I was definitely, I mean, shit. You know I what cried. I'm saying? And I ain't cry. I did. Like, I, I was definitely that was like, my guy. whoa. You know what I mean? But the, 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 I seen how women, Athletes, you knew he like Kobe was coming for a movement with the women athletes, dog. Like he was coming for a movement with the Sue Birds and 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 and, and the Skylar Diggins and 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 what's the girl from UConn, Tarasi, and all of them, and and the Player of the Year uh uh from Oregon. What's her name? What's her name? Put it up. Page, what is it? Page? Nah, no, yeah, no, no, no. That's you. Right, there you go. With that Unless you can't. I'm tripping, bro. Look at that. Think about the wrong. Oregon. You do. Hey, the, but listen. You said a women's basketball player from yeah, Oregon? Yeah, the player. She was a player of the year. She was gangster. She was you, the number one pick in the WNBA. She raw. See, I, I'm, but that's. I'm out. That's the generation that he was changing, though. He was changing right. that whole generation with his girl, Gigi, coming up, getting ready to go to UConn. She, she already said she was going to UConn to play for Gino R.E.M. You know what I'm saying? So, <coughs> excuse me. It's all that. Kobe was doing some great things, man, within that women's at, with women's sports and especially women's basketball because of his girls. <coughs> Absolutely. So, listen. And I don't think it's dying either because all those, all those um, women, I just saw the other day his wife <coughs> coming out with a new shoe. And all that, so they definitely spurring the movement. But I know they got, and we gonna wrap this shit up. But I know they got that draft, that 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 mock draft house too. Yeah, well, it was a, it, it was more <coughs> of a, uh, it was it was a big board. So that's his that's his oh, big Mel board. Kuiper. For, Mel yeah, that was that was his big board for next no, year. I don't like Mel Kiper, dog. Mel Kiper yes. had me so fucked up when I was coming out of school, dog. <laughs> like he he had my wait. What he said about you, bro? Dog. No experience. You got to give this story. Like, you know, no experience. Motherfucker talking about, I can't read defense. And, you know, the people listen to Mel Kuyper, dog. Yeah. Like, oh, real they shit. listen to Mel. You know, uh, dog, Mel Kuyper ain't like, my Kuyper ain't had great things to say about me. Less experience, you know what I mean? But everybody said that because I only played a handful until my senior year. But still, 
I ain't fucking with male carpet too much. <laughs> For real. So wait, did you? Did but, 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 he is, you know, who they go to, who they listen to. So what are you talking about? Give you the whole list. Pull him up. What are you talking about, dog? Because I know he got, I, I I mean, I know he got some Bama players up there in the top 10 already. So, you, so like, your top 10 is. Let me see. Where is it? Can you, pull this shit up? We can't can, pull I, it up. I got it. Hold on. I'm going to log in. But uh, your top you 10 is, number one is Will Anderson. This motherfucker. Dog. Number two, Bryce Young. Hey, hold on. Before we get into, you can't wear those see-through shoes. Well, I, why I can't wear the see-throughs no more, bro? Oh, the see throughs make me feel too good. That's yeah, what you're saying. Yeah, bro, All like right. you full of yourself today. We got see through shoes on. We we got you on the phone, not not coordinating. Because I'm gonna JC have to log in with the doing? like I have to log in to ESPN. You know, ESPN make you pay for everything. I, yeah, I can't. But who he has as number one? Will Anderson. Will Anderson, Bryce Young. Top oh, three yeah. is Will two Anderson. Bama, play better, two Bama. Two Bama. Yep. Bryce Young, C.J. Stroud, Ohio State. Hey, dog, pull up, pull up back. Listen, one of y'all, pull up Bama's backup quarterback. Oh, uh, pull him up. The, the buff cat. Oh my God, pull him up. Pull up uh-huh. that dude. Hey, if, if, listen, the most talked about position at Alabama may be the backup quarterback position, cuz for real. But I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna switch it a little bit. I think LSU has a problem. For real. I think LSU has a problem with their quarterback position. And who's going to come? This is going to be so intriguing, bro. Because just think about it. You got the kid from Arizona. Yeah, Jaden. You got Jaden, right? Looked pretty good in the spring. Showed the mobility. Could move around. And then they done ushered your boy out of retirement, out of transferring. <laughs> Miles. They done ushered Miles out of transferring to come back. And I'm going to tell you, if I'm Miles, I ain't coming back unless you told me that I'm going to be the guy. <laughs> That's what, like. Right? There's no other reason why. You, you come back. Like, no other reason. I don't know where he was going. Was he somewhere? And they, or was just he in the portal? He was in the portal. Yeah, he was in the portal. So he was just somewhere chilling, drinking beer. The, the only smoke he had was Southern Miss. The only school that that had smoke with him, like was Southern Miss. Was Southern Miss. That so was he the only was gonna school. go there. That was the only other school that had interest in him. So just think the about it, right? Like UBK, Brian Kelly for y'all. I don't know. And you come in, and how do you steady the ship? You feel me? Like, is your move going out to get him? Or your move? So you went out and got him, Miles, to come back because he knows we would do whatever. And then this kid comes available in Arizona. And so you woo him and you go out and get him. We already know that's all to steady the ship until you can get Walker in the fold. That's just my opinion. He ain't going to play this shit. Red shirt, learn the system to come in and do that. But, dog, I think that there's going to be such some crazy shit going on with. Because Miles, I, this is just my belief. I could be wrong. I could be. But the only way Miles Brennan is coming away from Southern Miss to come back to LSU with a new coaching staff is if y'all told him he's going to be the man. So now that changes as this kid comes available. And then he shows good promise. Mobile. Decent arm. Miles has a Miles uh has a good arm. What's gonna happen? Cause I don't think we have a clear cut starting quarterback right now, do you? No, nah, but I feel like Nussmeyer can take the job though. And then you t- then he's the dark horse. Because he's a dark horse. Because this is the one thing I knew about that, right? So, Nussbaum is a talented kid. Very, very talented. Comes from a QB background um, with his father. Um, Live arm. Confident. Confident player. But it's some things about him 
but you're going to have to curtail as well. You're going to have to, as the offensive coordinator or as the coach, know that a certain situation that you can't really put him in. You know what I mean? So you're going to have to manage him a little bit too. But, with, but when, when we talk about talent and from a talent perspective, it's a no-brainer. You know what I mean? So it's all on, and in my opinion, with you having those guys in, for me, because uh, Jaden Daniels is what? He's a senior right now or he's a junior? Look it up. We well, got uh, guess. Shit, we got time. We ain't tripping. Nah, he's a, he is a he red shirt. In nah, he's what? a red shirt sophomore. Yeah. He red shirted his freshman year. Yeah. The kid from Arizona? Oh, Jaden Daniels? No, yeah. he's a he no, he's a true Jew. Jew. Who the hell he's you talking Jew. about? I thought you said um I thought you said Bryce Young for some reason. I don't know. No, I'm, I'm talking about LSU right now. Yeah, he's a junior. I'm, I'm, fucking I'm, I'm, shoes, dog. I'm I told over here you, working, dog. Bro. I'm fucking shoes. I'm over man. here working. You have no idea how the <laughs> shoes pissing me off. They look good. <laughs> but they affecting you. It's gotta be the shoes. He usually got the dunks. I know. He usually so goddamn sharp. It's a goddamn shoes, Stu. Yeah. Um, but they look good. I ain't gonna lie, they look good. And, and and especially when you told me about everything that's going on with it, with yeah, the shirt, yeah, like, like, and the you want me? Yeah, I could, I could, I could get a little. I yeah, go ahead, go ahead. I got it. I got it. I got it. Give you some time, right. dog. Go ahead, go ahead. Flip it to you. Go ahead. Give you some time. Jay Mag, she. You know, shout out to Katie, Katie on the Mr. E. Well. Yeah, show sure. sort of, You know, hold up. I'm, I'm, I'm rubbing the mic. It's too low though. But I'm gonna let y'all see. You know, let y'all, let y'all get a little view. You know, and I got Hurry the Air Max on. Hold yeah, on, I got a, I But got you got, I thought you had a low camera. I do, but it's, it's on Jamil and, and Ron. It's on Jamil and Ron. No, don't show OP. He don't want to show his. Oh, he don't want to show his kicks? No, you just got to stand it. right in front of him. Golly. You got to, now I got to struggle and work. But you got to come press the button, Jamil. I can't. Nah, we're not going to do all that. Yeah. Just know that your shit fly. You win the fly, clear shoes. Of the oh, week. yeah, you can show him like Jay, that. Yeah, show him like that, dog. Turn them around though. They they like shit. Yeah, there you go. Oh, oh yeah. Shit yeah. raw now. I ain't gonna lie. There we go. Oh, there we go. Okay. Jay, you didn't win. Stewie, you won this week. You got it. So you get. Yeah. No, I got. I got no, the shoe of the week. Those are okay. Even? Those are fine. But they didn't. But they, they ain't these win. though. They, they don't have the seat. Right. Stewie I gets the twenty five dollars. I don't even know what this means. I should have so got it. No, I should got it last <laughs> week. Last week I came. We didn't do it. I know, but if we did, I was gonna win. I but we didn't do it. How you say we gonna do? Like we didn't do That's it. That's okay. Cause even if I do the same shoe again, I'm gonna still beat him. Well, you gotta do that shit next week then. But we didn't do it last week, so we can't say you won. Yeah. Well, Stewie like, yeah, won this see. week. He get the twenty five dollar gift certificate to Hooters. That's it. You eat Hooters? Yeah, I do eat Hooters. Do you? Yeah. Bingo. Twenty five dollar gift certificate. I'm, I'm gonna take it, Jamil. No, you no, know. No, no. That's not enough for both of y'all. You a cheap date, dog? <laughs> hey, look. <laughs> cheap date. No, no, no. I gotta, I gotta do it. Oh, you gonna take it, but you ain't paying. <laughs> I, 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 I get a little drink. Twenty five dollars is not enough for y'all. I, I already know. Yeah, you already. She know gonna get a little drink. That's because I won. That's because I won the first day. Like the, <laughs> what last first week. Day? Last week I won. In my head, I won. won we didn't what? do it, but I won. My shoes was. Oh, you were stepping last I was. Week. I was stepping. Well, you gotta do that shit again. I'm put the same outfit on. It ain't count. You gotta understand. Like if 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 we don't do it, it don't count. Well, we gonna have to do it every week. We are, but I'm just saying. But you got to understand that you talking about you should have won and this and that if you didn't do it. Come back. It was the same. Still, he can't wear them shits no more. Because yeah, people I'm, already I'm, done seen them shits. He can't wear no clear shoes anymore. Yeah, I got to put them up. I, I, I usually like these. These don't come out the closet unless I got something to, you know, something to throw on with it. I ain't going to lie. You did that, though. Yeah. You did that. You, you was like Clay Thomas tonight, though. Yeah, you know. You was, you was I'm, like Clay. I'm Clay game six Who right was now. on that draft shit? Mm. Bryce on there, right? Yeah, Bryce on there. Bryce, Who the other Bryce, quarterback on there with Bryce? CJ Stroud. They got where he from? Ohio State. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. He a monster now. Nah, he a monster. CJ Stroud, Bryce Young. That's the, uh, your top three is Who Will else? Anderson, Bryce Young, CJ Stroud, Jalen Carter from Georgia. D tackle. Yeah, D tackle. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Um, and Jack, then what booty at? Jackson Smith and Jigma is five. That's the receiver from Ohio State. Oh, yeah, yeah, he's pretty yeah. good. Brian hey. Breesey, the D-lineman from Clemson. Yeah. Michael Myers from My, Notre great Dame. Great name, great name. Eli Ricks, former LSU DB. Hey, 
Eli Long yeah. prospect, bro. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like LSU went out there for a reason. Mm-hmm. The reason why he's he's a long prospect. But I know he got in some trouble recently. That's gonna hurt him. He's gonna have all kind of shit in his contract. Uh contingency and all that bullshit. But you know, it is what it is. Um Kayshawn player, number nine right after him. Kayshawn dude, Kayshawn, um, I know last year. He was injured, right? Mm-hmm. He was injured, right? Got injured halfway through Got the season. Got injured halfway through and then, you know, didn't come back at the end for whatever reason. But as explosive as he is, I mean, he's a natural pass catcher to me at the position. Um, and just depending on how this year goes with the new coaching staff, new offense, uh, Brian Kelly, Sloan, these guys, um, it's going to be interesting to see. And and this is the thing that may help, may hurt, because he's going to be called on to do a lot just based on how explosive he is and how unfamiliar I think that the coaching staff and everybody is going to be with everyone else. So you're going to want to get the ball to certain guys. And, you know, just like you talked about Jaqueline and Roy um, defensively for the Tigers coming up this season, He's going to be one of those guys that explode on the scene that just, you know, come through like gangbusters. And I think with them trying to get the ball to booty so much, it's going to go this year. If it is successful, he's going to have a great year. But if, I, if they try to overload him, and I don't think they need to because I think they have a really, really, really good core of receivers that they could play with. Yeah. So it would be interesting. But you know what, man? I'll be honest with you. I would love to – like if it was my pick for the shit, I would love to see Nussmeyer start the season as a starting quarterback and him stay healthy and stay whatever throughout the entire time mm-hmm. and do his thing. Because I think when it comes to upsides and building your program from recruiting, not just a transfer portal. I heard Brian Kelly say he's doing the transfer portal shit right now because it's to steady the ship yeah. of what they don't have and all that. But you, you want to build your program like the Seattle Seahawks, like the New England Patriots, like the LSU Tigers. You want to build it from who you recruit, who you bring in, who you draft, who you, you know what I'm saying, bring in. So, you know, I think that if he gets to doing that, part of that starts with being with Nussmeyer being the guy. And you go through the growing pains with him just like you would do back in the day if you ain't had all this bullshit going on with the transfer portal and all this. But with the with, with you needing to win and wanting to win and the, the 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 pressure being so big to win, you go in and get these bridge players and these bridge guys, <clears throat> and now, you know, just like with recruiting the high school players because of the transfer portal, gets lost in the shuffle. It's not as much many scholarship as Dion pointed out, and it's the same thing here. You know what I mean? You bring in a Daniels or you bring back a Miles. And now with Nussmeyer, his development could be slowed because of that. Because in a perfect world, he'll be the starter. Yeah, he'll be honestly. taking all the reps. <coughs> Correct. Yeah, I mean, I'm, me and Ron kind of went to all the spring practices. And just from like a bird, like kind of like a bird's eye view, you know what I'm saying? Just watching mm-hmm. as a spectator almost. Mm-hmm. Like Nussmeyer really had control of the whole team and the offense. Like at every spring practice, you could see him getting better. And you could see his his control and his demand for the offense and how they listen to him and how he how he called his cadence even. Like just the, the little things, you know, that come with being a quarterback. Like all his reads was – was right you know like he just did everything almost right like even just his sense of urgency all of that like it was just better than the other guys to you me you know the thing that the thing that um you look at like I, I always when i go to spring ball and stuff like that when it's a new thing i always look at the operation how other guys are either gravitating towards one way or another and you know with a guy like nussmeyer the one thing you do know is him from being a coach's um, son mm-hmm. and being a off being a quarterback and understanding relationships that's the one thing you see from him immediately is the confidence and the easiness that he goes about with dealing with players either putting patting guys on the back or getting on them and I saw that at, with him last year so um, you know I would love to see him solidify himself at that position and go ahead and run with it and 
make it that much tougher for Walker to get in the fold and to play and to, you know, continue to compete and make that position what it's been. And that's just a competitive position on both sides, you know? Jamil and Ron, y'all kind of quiet over there, huh? Just listening. Mm-hmm. You know yeah. the, the 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 other the other phase with that too is with you know with Walker and with the quarterbacks and the competition that they're going to have going into the season or going to the spring going to the um, fall going to fall you know you always want your quarterback to affect everybody affect the position affect defensively everybody and I think that <clears throat> a lot of the shit bro is based on how you affect the other side of the football, how you affect the defense, how you keep them off the field, whether it's keeping drives alive, keeping drives alive with your leg, getting that little dump down, knowing where to go with the football in the third and two, third and four, third and six, stuff like that. Because it lets those, it instills confidence in those guys that you know what, they're going to do the right thing, he's going to do the right thing. So <clears throat> part of it, and the biggest part about playing a position is affecting everybody. Mm-hmm. Affecting everybody around you, knowing – like, that defensive end, Ali Gay is going to go a little bit harder knowing that he's going to get the ball back to somebody that's going to bring it down the field, that's going to make the right decision. Now, if he's not confident with what you're going to do, then I'm not saying it's all predicated that way, but guys go a little bit harder when they know what yeah. they have driving the wheel. Kind of like what you saw in 2019. Like, the defense wasn't what, you, what you're used to from being an LSU fan or, you know, like somebody who watches LSU a lot in terms of how good the defense was and stopping people and things like that. But right. they knew if they got to stop, they knew they was giving the ball back to number nine. And that's a right. killer over there. So we getting the ball back to the dog, and it's just, you know, he going to go score that thing nine out of ten times. That's exactly right. And that's, that's I mean, that's exactly what I'm talking about. I mean, that year it was those guys were driven by Joe Burrow. They were driven by that offense. They were driven by the mentality that he took with that team and the no-nonsense that he brought to that team. And those guys knew that he was accepting nothing less than perfection. And that's exactly what you got when the defense went on the field, when the offense went on the field, when the special teams went on the field. The coaches also knew that, and he affected them as well. So, I mean, you know, I say it all the time, dog. Joe, Broadway Joe, Joe Burrow, was the reason for that championship that year. And the reason I say that is because I saw it, and I also saw how it affected everyone, from Coach Ed Orgeron all the way down to the damn long snapper. You understand me? Like, that boy wasn't playing no games with nobody, and everybody knew that shit. <laughs> Seriously. For real. Wait, Ro, did you see the uh, baseball player get slapped about the fantasy football? No. Nah. Man, you didn't see that? Uh, um, it was Tommy Pham and Jock Peterson. And it was something like, I think Jock Peterson, they was in the same league. And it was 10K to get in the league. 10K buy in to get in. Mm. And so, like, it was like uh, Jock Peterson was putting his players that was hurt on the IR because, you know, that's legal in fantasy. Like, if you got a hurt player, you could just throw him on the IR. Yeah, yeah. And when he come back, and you, when he come back, you could just throw him back on the active roster. Well, he was doing that, and he ended up like I. I think he might end up winning the league, or it was something. And Tommy Pham didn't like that, and it spilled over like over all this time from football season to baseball season now. And like last week, he slapped him in the outfield in pregame, slapped him in the face. See, that's that Will Smith shit, dog. Like you know what I mean? Like what the fuck? You know what I mean? Like <laughs> when is it that we just go straight resort to violence? Unless they knew each other, you know what I'm saying? Like what that 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 thing that sparked a whole bunch of shit, dog. And what did they do to him? I think he got suspended for like a game or two. So he just slapped the shit out of him in warm ups. Yeah, like it was it was like pre game warm ups. They was taking BP and he walked up to him like you know they you know they used to be standing in the outfield like just shagging yeah, balls like, and stuff. Up? Yeah. And like he was like, "What's up?" and slapped that man in the face. And after the game, they interviewed Jock Peterson, and he was like, yeah, I mean, he slapped me. Like, I mean, he just mad about some fantasy football shit, <laughs> you know? 
I guess slapped. dude lost his bread. So he really feel like he, he slapped him over fantasy football? He slapped him over fantasy football. He must have had a lot of bread. Yeah, he must have put up shit. a lot. <laughs> but I mean, if you, if, hey, boy, hey, just like my mom always told me, boy, if you give it away, you better be ready to lose that shit. You understand me? Because it's like people come out to you and I say, hey, let me loan me this, loan me that shit. If you loan somebody money, you better be ready to lose it, dog, because it ain't always going to come back to you. So he was wrong for out of man. Yeah, it was a hundred percent about yeah, somebody. Yeah, got the brakes beat off of him. I'm gonna tell you that right now. Because Tommy Fam said, "I didn't like the the sketchy shit going on. Too much money on the line, fucking with my money." See what I'm saying? You fucking with man, brakes. <laughs> Hold up, I got. The, I'm about to pull up the video. Yeah, pull it up, dog. You fuck with the man, bread, and we gonna wrap it up. He slapped the shit. Pull out up that with the man, bread, bro. You can't play with nobody, dog. You can't play with no man's money. Or his girl, or yeah. his kids. wife, or his kids. Period. I know I'm just like that. Don't play with me. For real. <laughs> Cause most men, they, their wife, their kids, and everybody look at them like they're King Kong. You know what I'm saying? They look at them like, yeah. Especially if they're like a good, good provider. They good this. They good guy. Man, you ain't about to try me in front of my kids. I'm gonna beat your ass. Like that's just how, that's just what it is. Stu, you so slow today, dog. I ain't gonna lie. I'm putting it up there. I gotta say, you're right. I ain't, boy. You all right. hating on me. Right. Right. Nah, ain't nobody hating. Like, we serious, dog. Like, you <laughs> you slow today, dog. Because yeah, I'm shooting. I got shoe. it up already. Because I'm shooting. <laughs> shoot raw, but damn. Boy. We're gonna give you that 25 still, though. But you see, you see the slap? No, I ain't see it. I was too busy talking about you. And shit. I still ain't see it. Where is that? Ooh. Oh, he slapped the shit out of him. He ain't even do nothing. What kind of who is that? They got slapped and they ain't do nothing. That's Jock That's Peterson. Me. Who? Jock That's Peterson. Awesome. Jock Peterson. Yeah. Who is Jock Peterson? He used to play for the. He used to play for the Dodgers. Now he plays for the Braves. I want to say now. He a pitcher. No, what he, he, what uh, position he play? Outfielder. Dog. Jock Peterson is a hoe. Yeah, yeah, that was something. What he is. Ho. <laughs> Straight Hold up. We and put, I ain't, I ain't, I ain't you know what I'm saying? You know, I ain't it, about to call nobody Let out. me put it in full but screen dog, you for a, you. That was a man, right? He a man? Yeah, that's yeah. that's two grown men. That's, that's what I'm saying. Jock man. Peterson is a man. This is a two grown men, two, two MLB Hold players. On. Let, hold on, hold on, hold on. Before I say that, let me retract that whole thing right now. I'm sorry, Jock Peterson. <laughs> Did he do anything? No, he do we do know no. for sure he did nothing? What? Oh, like towards Tommy Pham? I don't know what who, he did. Who slapped him? Tommy Pham? Tommy, Tommy Pham slapped him. That's what I'm saying. Him. Did he do anything to him? Uh, that, the, physical. All, no, nothing physical. Just money. I guess yeah, it was just some money shit. What do you mean money? What like it was about the fantasy league, football league money. That's why he slapped so him. So Tommy Han, Who slapped who? Tommy Pham Tommy slapped, Pham Jack Peterson. slapped Jock Peterson over fantasy football. So what did he have to do with the fantasy thing? Because, that, like I said, Jock Peterson was putting his players on IR and then bringing them off of IR. When they they teammates? Good. They weren't teammates. They used to be teammates, but they know each other. Oh, so they was just all, board. yeah, they was just all in the fantasy football league. And the commissioner of Who this league, slapped? Jock Peterson. Jock Peterson, you a fucking hoe. <laughs> you a <laughs> you just slapped him over some money, really. Yeah, like. You know why I said it like that, though, like real shit? Because I'm listening to you explaining it and yeah. you talking about it. So they boys. Yeah. They, they, like, that's yeah. what I'm. And I'm. And I'm it's I just some MLB wrong. shit. Mike Trout was what, the commissioner of the league. That's but, what I'm saying. And it's they like were, fantasy. The MLB it's literally. Baseball fantasy. Yeah, it was baseball. It baseball, was baseball fantasy. Players, yeah, fantasy. But well, was, all the baseball players. All the baseball players. Yeah, they're in the league. Yeah. Yeah. So it's like if I'm in a football fantasy, well, I'm a football dog. Yeah. Right. And so, who slapped who? Tommy Fam slapped Jock Tommy Peterson. Tommy slapped Jet. Jet. Jock. J-O-C, Jock. Yeah. First off, let me say this. The boy that slapped the boy? Yeah. Ben felt like the boy was a hoe. Yeah. I think I think so, too. Because yeah. he wouldn't have did it. <laughs> he wouldn't have did it. Feel like it. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. Like you'll never get off on somebody. Hey, you, ain't you know what they say? They know who to play with. Oh God! They yeah, know who to play with. They know who to do that too. Talk crazy too. They know who to talk crazy too. They, they, know, they, know, who to talk crazy too. they <laughs> know who to do. They know who to do. He knew who slapped who again. He's not one of them. I am not one of like that's what I'm saying. Like, dude, 
That's why. I call, that's dead. why. That's why I said it's so emphatic like that. The boy a hoe. He's definitely one of them. He did get hoe. He a hoe. Like you can't let another man slap you. He's a ho ho ho. He just he just yelled ho 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 and kept on going. Go. That boy slapped you in pregame, man. In pregame, like it. way out in the outfield, <laughs> where like they really gotta have a camera on y'all to see the shit. So if you beat the shit out of him and pull him in the dugout and dummy him up, who gon' do? You I think that boy? Mean. You think, dog? You think that if he had any inkling that that boy was gonna do that, he would have done that? No, you a hoe. He already knew how you was gonna get down. You a hoe. Your your wife thank you. He married. Cause if he married, wife thank you. I think he, he is married. Hold it. <laughs> <laughs> His wife, people think he a hoe. They know he a hoe. Got slapped in front of his kids. You got slapped. <laughs> he made you a hoe, nigga. Oh, you a hoe. You, you got slapped in front of your. In front of your kids. Let me tell you something, crazy. dog. Let me tell you something, cuz. That, that's why I said it earlier when I said, like, wives, kids, they all look at that guy as King Kong. Just think about, like, like everybody. You know what I'm saying? I know, like, like, just think about, like, who you look at. Dad, mother, whoever. They, you, like me. My kids, my fiance, my mother, they look at me like that dude. So you ain't gonna never disrespect me in front of, I'm not gonna let you disrespect me in front of my kids. It, like crazy. in front of my kids and my like I'm gonna beat your ass. Like and I'm gonna beat your ass just on principle. You're not gonna try me like that in front of my kids or in front of nobody that hold me in that regard that I know I gotta protect and I know they gotta be protective. I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna beat Yo ass. Uh, and I'm going to take the consequences later. You're not going to do that. You're not going to try me like that. Me and Jamil already had this talk earlier. I had a little... It, it was a situation. And somebody... I, I got a, I got a four-year-old son. And somebody disrespected me in front of my son. So yeah, I had to... And, and that's what happened. Just off so, a principle. Like, it was a principle thing. Nah, because it's your kids, dog. Like, yeah, like, dog, my kids. And like, you just want... Like, my kids look at... That's dad. I'm, like, I'm Superman. That ain't no... That ain't... Like... What's the boy name that got slapped? Jock Peterson. I am not Jock Peterson. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not him. Like, I am not him. <laughs> like, you want to get slapped in front of your wife in the entire America? That's on you, homie. Entire- like, that shit ain't happening. Like, that's, you know how embarrassing that, that is? That is not God's that's work. That's what I'm saying, like, dog, for real. That's not playing. You think you about to try me? <laughs> that that is like not P. Fuck out of here. That's not, that's not P. That, that ain't P. That's not P. <laughs> That ain't pee. You get slapped in your face. You get slapped in front of your kids. Not please. Not pee. No, but I mean it's disrespectful. And you, I mean, and low key, you got slapped in front of fans too because you know, like before a baseball game, you got fans like coming but in, that's what watching saying. batting practice. Like that's I know a couple I'm fans saying. got that video from another angle. I want to see it. But I need to see it. Not just that, dog. Like, like I said, I'm not just calling him. That, I'm not just calling that boy a hoe, <laughs> emphatically like that because <laughs> it's that easy. But it is because yeah. he made it that easy. He did. Like, dog. He could at least did something. First off, he could at least push, like, nah, push it dog. back. He didn't do anything. That's dog. And just think about it. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, when I see things like that's why I ask the questions that I ask before I like say what I have to say. That's why I ask, like, are they friends? Are they this? Are they that? You know what I mean? It like, gives oh, them that's more why context. Pull, yeah, into why he tried them. But it also fucks up my view because I'm like, he, been he tried you. Yeah, he tried you. That's been, he been y'all been before. having drinks. Y'all been drinking. Y'all been chilling. Y'all been whatever for however many years. I don't know the friendship. But even if it's six months, 12 months, one year, two years, three years, two months, that boy feel like he could try you like that and slap the shit out you. And you a hoe. Period. Ain't nobody about this. No, you kidding me. And I'm not even saying this. I'm not even saying you're going to win. You know what I mean? I'm not even you saying you're going to win. And yeah. be like, man, don't play with me. I'm not one of them. Like, if your girl was there, your wife was there, your kid was right there beside you, would That's you do the same thing? That's humbling. Like, would you just sit right there and just get the shit slapped out of you with them watching you? Like, what the fuck? <laughs> you kidding me? Yeah, that's that's Daddy, why did he slap you? Well, are you gonna answer that question? Like, are you gonna answer that when you go <laughs> home to your kids? Question. Cause they gonna see it on. T- if it, I don't know if he got kids or whatever. Yeah, he do. He, I mean, he has young kids. I think though, How like like babies, babies. They gonna see that shit in five years. They yeah, see it. they're gonna clown him. They His will. kids, they're clowning. They babies now, but they that shit ain't going nowhere. It's, they gonna not. see that shit in five. They're years. His wife him. saw it. In 4K, she, like she laughed. You know, she's supposed to be feel protective and all that. But I, even as a woman, I'm not letting nobody slap. You, you better take that trash out before I call Tommy. Don't play with me. 
He gonna slap the shit out you. <laughs> I just play the meme. I just pl- I just record that shit and play it every time you get out. Play of it on the TV. <laughs> now every time you get out of line, I just play it. Like I just had that shit on the TV no, when you walk in. Like, like, like but that's you just got slapped. That was it. But look, just imagine like he just come home from from she got like, work and she got it on the big screen. <laughs> oh man! And just play, and like they done beefed out or something. And he coming in the door and, he, and and she got it on the big screen while he walking through the door. That's crazy. What you think he'll do though? He'll tremble and like. Oh yes, baby. He Whatever gonna crash out. No, he. You think he gonna flash? He gonna flash. <laughs> he gonna flash out. He gonna flash out. <laughs> you know how embarrassing that is. That's you come what I'm saying, though. But that's what he deserves. He's like clowning you when you come home after a hard day. That's what he deserves. Yeah. <laughs> you know what another dude? He can't even say that. He, he can't do nothing. Don't slap the fuck out you. Gonna slap him too. <laughs> that's like I be watching this show. Uh, nah, he gonna name that shit. Love after lock up. I watched that shit. You said jail. love after lockup, yeah, like yeah. in the jail, like the jail. Like they love? get out of prison and then Man. they like find love, and it'd be like a woman. Like it's always a woman con in the motherfucker in jail. Like they done spent money on they come out dog slap the shit. That they come out of jail and think they about to be in love with yeah. the convict. You know what I'm saying? Somebody in the comments said he can never raise his voice to his wife again. Don't be tough with her when you let that man slap you. That's for real. what I'm saying. For real. For real. Don't. For that, real. And that's exactly what what, exactly. what a woman would tell you. Don't be exactly. tough with me because you let that man serious. slap you. She's not oh, that's what, hey, hey, what, that's what, but you ain't. But you weren't tough with him. You weren't tough, yeah. don't get tough with, me. Tough with Tommy. Tommy. That's, that's what I'm saying. Though. Viral, but that's why I had that shit. Like if I was his wife or some shit or whoever he dealing with. I had that shit on my phone. Someone say some dumb shit. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You gotta walk right out the door. Ain't this you get slapped? What? Up. You gotta you leave what? immediately. You don't want me to call, so well, don't let me call that boy for you. He gotta leave talking. immediately. Like, like, now you lose all credibility, and especially the fact that he did nothing. Yeah, like he did absolutely nothing. He didn't even like buck at him. He didn't do anything. And his, like his he teammates took couldn't him even like help him. Like he was used to he it. Was like, yeah, like I'm used to getting like, greased oh, yeah, up and and, and, that's and crazy. donkey. I don't care if I'm dead wrong. You're not slapping that's me. That's my whole point, dog. Like, like you're not just finna slap me. I just stand there. No, that's a that's, he a grown man. That's crazy. As a, as a grown, grown man, man in front of your kids, man. that's crazy. He open hand slap oh, him. Yeah, it was an open hand slap. It was open hand. It was open hand. Oh, yeah, he he slapped him like a like a like, like a bitch. Like you said, he, he was a like bitch. He slapped him like a was. bitch. I'm glad you said it, cause I, I like I just said he a hoe. Like that. He don't, he, like, he bitch slapped him pretty right, much. No he man, like that's pimps. not. That's <laughs> he, yeah, he pimp slapped him. Yeah, that's crazy. You know, if 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 it does anything else, man, it just shows that he was married. Who, Jock Peterson? Yeah, the, the guy even that got slapped. Not, the guy that got slapped. He married. You can't even get a girlfriend like that. The guy that got slapped. Is he married? Yeah, he is married. Yeah, how long he been married? Hold on, let me. Cause I'm gonna tell you, we gotta not look into, you know, the self esteem issues. Cause that boy, oh, and the fact that he let that go down like that and get slapped. Like that, you know. I can understand Chris Rock not, you know, retaliating. That was the best thing for him. When Will slip, when Will slip, Will Smith slapped the shit out of him. I can understand him. He's been not. married since 2018. Oh, he ain't been married that long. Yeah, I'm not. clowning you. I'm sorry. If I was his wife, I'm clowning you. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. He ain't been married that long, but she got food. She got food. She got food because yeah. she married. She, she married. She a married. Home. Oh. <laughs> She married a hoe. It's the truth. Yeah, it's wrong simple. That, bro. He wrong for that. Yeah. He wrong for that. And 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 he got kids. He didn't even defend himself. Yeah. Like I'm saying. Don't I, like I think that's why baseball got a bad name. Though. Like you. Like, like this no is this, like this is he the didn't even the book. whole. You know. could a book, but he did like really slap him. Like if he was gonna do something, he had to come with. But, but he didn't do enough. But you didn't even gotta win. That's what, what I'm saying. He didn't even do enough for his teammates to be like, all right, like we gotta jump this man, like something, like he's you like, just let nothing, him. He was nothing. a hoe. So there was like shit. He being a hoe. How am I gonna jump in and yeah, say something? Exactly. He don't give a right. fuck. Like I ain't like, gonna fight your He ain't fight right. Exactly. He's not fighting for himself. After somebody slapped the hell out of him over a fantasy football, uh, baseball. Uh, it was that fantasy makes... football, but they're baseball players. Oh, that's crazy. Yeah. So the, all of this stuff happened. Somebody make this all of this stuff sense, been though. building up since football season. So that's since the saying. fall, and they just waited till he waited till he saw him during the season. 
to to address the shit boy, and slap him. Boy, boy. And Mike Trout was the commissioner you, of the league, and they you, calling him out too because the MLB wanted to speak to him about what went on, whatever like what that. They want, what they and Mike Trout was like, what? "I ain't commenting on they that say, shit. Yeah. I ain't got nothing to do with that." Mike Trout don't got nothing to do with that. <laughs> Mike Trout don't got nothing. To, listen, when a commissioner of the NFL and one of these cats go out here. And, and, and kill a wife or, or beat up somebody in the elevator door, that dumb ass shit. Does that have anything to do with the commissioner? Not yeah. a fucking thing. Now, does that have anything to do with Mike Trout? Nothing. That this boy out here getting slapped in public. <laughs> that has nothing to do with Mike Trout. Mike Trout is trying to organize and trying to uh, uh, galvanize and get these guys together and do something wonderful for the players. Mike Trout don't have no idea, man, that they got this beef going on over here. That don't have nothing to do with Mike Trout. This is a friendly thing. Mike Trout ain't about to, y'all got to sign waivers and do all this this whole ass shit. Like, what's the boy's name that got slapped? Jock Peterson. Like Jock Peterson? <laughs> like, like he, he don't think he got to be dealing with this? That's Jock Peterson that got to deal with that from getting slapped and disrespect. Like, dog. Plenty more people did things in that league. They ain't get slapped. He got slapped. Because you know why? He a hoe. <laughs> Period. That's why he got slapped. People know who to play with. And that boy been seeking him out for months because of whatever happened. I mean, football For any reason. He just wanted one reason. Yeah, he, he, he was waiting. Like they said, give me a he reason. He just wanted one good reason. He yeah. He was, I bet he was like, like before, just think about him before the I slap. I bet he won't slap he, me back. I bet he was like, like telling his teammates, like, watch this. I'm about to go slap this man. And he's like, not gonna I'm about to go slap he this man. About it. And he wow. didn't. He didn't do anything about it. No one would have blamed him if he would have punched him in the shit. No, no one would have blamed him if he would have. Because the way he slaps him, nobody's going to blame he you. He slapped him, dog. Yeah, he he like, no one would have blamed him. Like, dude, you're a man first. And that's the other thing what I'm saying. Like, you're married for five years, eight, however long. You got kids. You're a man first, homeboy. Like, I don't care if that's your homeboy, that's your friend, that's your brother, that's whoever. This man that took it upon himself to have this grudge behind whatever happened with football, fantasy football at that. And ain't nobody get hurt. Ain't nobody lives get destroyed. Ain't no crazy things happen. But you know what happened? You affected some part of his joy. You affected some part of his joy. And it was so great that you affected his joy that he sought you out for months or however long y'all say and waited for the opportunity to slap the fuck out you. And that's exactly what happened. And you know what? You dropped the ball. It was your, also your opportunity to show that you ain't no hoe. But what did you do? Folded. You took the opportunity. Yeah. Folded. You showed you as a hoe. Like, I mean, it's no, I, I, I hate to sound harsh, but I don't know any other way to put it. Because for me personally, I understand, you know, trying to save face in whatever realm you might be in. But I'm a man first. I'm always a man first. And if I know I'm not in the wrong and somebody just outright trying to get some clout or some stripes up on me, trying to drop his nuts on me for whatever reason, I personally am going to combat the situation and I'm going to show him that, hey, man, you're going to fucking think twice about this the next time you decide to do this to anybody else. Because you know why? The buck stops here. And what's the boy's name that got slapped? Jock Peterson. Jock Peterson should have said the buck's going to stop with Jock fucking Peterson, man. You know? It's going to stop with me tonight or today. And who slapped him? Tommy Fallon. And Tommy, this is the last and the worst mistake you're going to make, and you're never going to make this again because you know why? I'm going to fuck over you right now, Peter. <laughs> That's it. And I'm going to make an example out of you just like, because you know what he did? He made an example out of him yep. by slapping him. Yep. So by you slapping me and using me as your pawn to make this example, because you're so ticked off over fantasy football, I'm going to show you that you shouldn't have done this. And that's what he should have did. And we wouldn't even be talking about this shit, dog. And it would have been justifiable. You know what I'm saying? And you would have still had the integrity. Your wife wouldn't be thinking about you sideways, because I don't care what you say, she's thinking about you sideways. I don't give a shit. 
Cause kids ask, uh, uh, kids gonna ask questions later. Dad, look what I found. You got slapped. What are you gonna do? But explain it. So, nah, you could have, you could have handled that definitely. You're trying to be the bigger person. Nah, not in that case, because you're still a man first. And it was like this guy aggressively approached you. So, in my opinion, you you know, you need to deal with it the way it needs to be dealt with. And that, from him slapping the shit out of you like that, that definitely wasn't the way to deal with it. Like, he came at you with too much aggression. You know what I mean? Way too much aggression. Way, way, way too much aggression. Um, and that ain't going to never fucking work in that situation. Really. So, what's his name? <laughs> Jock Peterson. Shout out to Jock Peterson. Somebody to come and see right Bro, now. ask the player's name one more time. Because I don't even want to say his name because it's, 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 God, it's just, dude, you get slapped like that and nobody, you don't do anything? I mean, nothing. Like, just a slap and slap and go about your day. And it looked like he was trying to, like, explain and do all this other oh, shit. Like, man, come on. Dude. You, you don't have time to explain. That man is trying to slap you. All right, listen. Again, I want uh, I want to, you know, set it right with the guests. We're going to have my dog on here another week. Um, Got tied up doing some things and moving around. Um, but tune in next week. We're going to wrap this thing up, man. I appreciate J-O-P, Stewie. Appreciate everything, man. It was a good week. Good dope. We're going to get it back doing. Stewie. I'm gonna, get, I'm gonna get back right next week. I, I ain't gonna wear the, the, the shoes. Okay. I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna go back to the traditional dunks okay. and just keep the style clean next week and keep everything in it. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Right for you. You were showing out. Today. And wait, yeah, I was, I was, I showed, you know, I showed, I showed off a little oh, bit my, too much today. My goodness, dog. But hey, 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 that's where I was going. You cut me off, so we good. We good. I appreciate it for everybody, man. We'll be back next week. Well, my, we out.